Um, <laughs> we have a very interesting plan for today. I made my room extremely green in honor of the occasion. <laughs> I put on a green shirt and I made everything green. This one's for you, Moss. <laughs> it is It is very green. When it gets dark outside, it's gonna be even more green. The sun's still up, but give it some time. <laughs> It'll get worse. It's an eyesore in a good way. Thank you. That is the nicest thing anybody has ever said to me. <laughs> Hold on, let me pull up the game so you can actually see. Um, and then we can start building and stuff. <laughs> It'll be so fun. The Grinch would love it, you're so right. I like these lights. Dan is the one who got me the lights that I have on the ground. I can make them other colors too. I don't really want to. I want them to be green. But Dan is the one who got them for me, see? Whoa. I use them sometimes now. I only got them a couple weeks ago. They're new. <laughs> um, but in a fun way. Oh. Dan just sent me a picture. He... <laughs> he dropped the hummus. There is hummus. The lid came off. And now it's all over the floor and the cabinet. <laughs> I can hear the... I just heard the... The bar stool move. He's probably trying to clean it off. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Anyway, um, <laughs> he's, he may be late to stream. If you're wondering where Dan is, well, <laughs> busy. <laughs> oh no. Also, Summer and Nora and Switch and Ashley and Lacey and Matt and Kaufland and Dancing and Kinsey and, and Neef and Fail and Toro. We got uh, Bibby and Naya and Sparkles and Brick and Plum Bob. Um, Plum Bunny, sorry, <laughs> Lauren, Peachy, uh, Lila, thank you all for the subs. Okay, I'm gonna load into our not-so-berry save, I'm gonna find out what our budget is, and then I'm gonna, uh, leave and go to a fresh save to build this, I think is my plan. Um, but, we'll, we gotta find out how much money we've got to work with first, so. It's like the pasta on the stairs, no, don't even bring that up! It's horrible! <laughs> when you drop something, especially food, Especially when it like is a mess, like like having hummus splatter itself all over the place, absolute disaster, just disaster. Thankfully, it's on the like hard floor and not on a carpet or anything. But why a new save? Oh, I prefer to build my legacy stuff in separate saves, um, just in case. It's sometimes less laggy. Um, that way, I have I don't know. I don't like destroy the lot that I was on. You know, all that sort of stuff. I always do that. You guys are really meant for each other? What, because he spilled something? You're right. <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> You're not wrong, though. <laughs> okay, see, this is why. You see how this is being laggy? Boo. Oh, it's fine now. Sorry, false alarm. But I'm gonna build a different save. What I'm about to do may shock you. Okay. 150 is the number. <laughs> See, they always get so upset, but I just told you I'm not going to use that save. 150,000 is the number I'm going to um, give myself. So that's what we're going to start with. <laughs> I don't know why you all get so upset. I do it every time. <laughs> okay, let's go into this save. For now and we'll build it so here is the deal we're building a new house for our not so berry challenge it's going to be the green gen of not so berry if you have never seen not so berry and you're not familiar with the concept every generation is a different color theme like i just said this one is green the house is going to be extremely green so if you're gonna get upset that everything is green this might not be the build for you to watch, okay? Because it's going to be so green. Everything is going to be green. <laughs> um, so you need to be prepared for that, okay? It's not like a normal house. It's fun and goofy and, and everything is going to be green. Um, also, it's for our legacy heir. Their name is Moss. And because their name is Moss, we're going to try and do some like mossy vibes. 
with it. <laughs> so we're thinking like maybe some of like the mossy roof textures from werewolves, you know, like a lot of those things. But the, the main key to this is green. Everything is going to be green. <laughs> um, so just keep that in mind. You know, I don't want someone to say, oh, you should try an accent color. No. That's not green. It must be green. <laughs> uh, and we're going to build it in Henford on Bagley. I was thinking about doing it on this lot, this 50 by 40 lot. Um, but we'll see. I might have to do some bulldozing and moving and it's sometimes, you know, it's experiments must be done sometimes when we do these uh, big legacy houses. So <laughs> it's not going to come together straight away. It might take us some time to figure it out. Green with an accent color of green. <laughs> the house is going to be green and green and a little bit of green, you know? Anyway, I just give the disclaimer because people always come in and they're like, oh, this is weird. And yeah. It is. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> Puffy Jaded, wonderfully Jaded is their name. <laughs> Jade, get it? Green. Uh, Mass and Serena and Jens and Rainbow and Kitty and Clara and Definitive and Janina and, and Kalan and Kiki and Christina and Potatoes and Isabel and Yes and Calypso and Possessed and Cat and Cass and Snake and Cherry and Chandra and Krista and Jane and Honey. We got Brat and Dancing and Eleanor and Sydney and Nora and Switch and Ashley and Lacey and Mad and Cowplant Connoisseur. Fantastic username. I'm amazed. <laughs> and Kinsey, thank you all for the subs, everybody. Yeah, Moss's siblings are going to live here. So, so the Sims that have to be in this house, um, we kind of talked about this yesterday, our plans. Obviously, Moss is going to need a bedroom. Moss is going to need an office, so that's two rooms. Moss has two younger brothers as well, um, and they're still teens. Um, they're a lot younger than Moss is, so they're going to come with us. Um, and then I'll probably turn their rooms into the rooms for the kids, like when Moss has kids of their own. We'll just have them live in the brothers' rooms. Um, and yeah, Moss aged up yesterday. We played, so Moss is a young adult. Um, no rooms for parents. Yeah, we don't need to have a grandparent room this time. <laughs> First time in a while, but Moss's mother, she is dead. It's been rough. It's been rough out here. So, oh, I need to get a sim, don't I? Because I need the budget. Hold on. Oh, and the kids' rooms, we're decorating them for Moss's siblings, so they'll be green, but Moss's kids are going to be the blue gen, so their kids' rooms will be blue eventually. Um, this sim is unrelated to the Polly that you know. Her name is Polly Nation, but I was using her for a test sim for something else. <laughs> that's not, that's not the one, that's not the affair partner. That's just some random lady. But I did name her the same thing. I forgot she was in this save. She's for a different video. <laughs> it is kind of appropriate. Please stop with that. Does anybody else have big problems with lag when they have those pop-ups? Stop. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was a good idea in theory. It was like this. It was good at the beginning, but it's not good anymore. It didn't used to be like that, but now it is, and it's really bad. The discovery quests, I was so excited about them at first, but now, not anymore. Okay, 150,000 is gonna be our budget. That's our plan. Just turn them off. Yeah, I should turn mine off too, because they're like really agitating. It's frustrating because I, I like liked the idea of it, but not good. <laughs> Danny and Joe and Kay. We got Brianna Soros with the resubs. Tegan with the gifted subs. Um, Midwest, thank you so much. I hope, oh my god, I hope that you're feeling okay. You broke your leg yesterday. That is a, a nightmare of epic proportions. I'm so sorry. Hopefully we can be a good distraction for you. Um, and Buffy, thank you for the sub as well. Oh no. Okay, so anyway, we're thinking Mossy Cottage is kind of the vibes for this today. Um, I don't really know how it's going to look exactly. I was looking at a couple of, um, ideas. Let me see if I can pull up a couple things for you. Because when I say cottage, bear in mind it's going to have to be green. But I also want it to be, it needs to be, like, deceptively big. But I'm thinking, like, cottage cottage with, like, a lot of greenery. 
Um, I kind of liked this one too, but these are obviously not real houses. Um, this one's like a drawing, but <laughs> um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. But it's just, it's gonna have green walls, green roof, green, of course. <laughs> but some vibe like that, kind of. <laughs> Francesca, Maya, Heather, and Cloudy in space. Thank you for the subs. The vertical siding from Seasons. Oh, that's true. That is kind of a dark mossy green. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Oh, you're right. That's smart. They're talking about, um, that is mossy. Oh, the house from the holiday? No. Well, no offense, but it's kind of bland. So, she's cute, don't get me wrong. I've built loads of things like this. It's just not what I envision for moss, you know? For our purposes, I don't think it's gonna work. It's not, I mean, I don't know. I want it to be a little bit more dramatic. Moss has aged up and yes, their siblings are coming with us. We're all still very young, <laughs> so. We're not gonna just like ditch our teenage brothers <laughs> and have them live alone. That would be terrible. <laughs> uh, Courtney, General, and, and Feline, and Francesca, thank you for the subs. Um, Moss is only a young adult. We, but freshly. Like, we became a young adult literally in the last three minutes of stream yesterday. So, that's how I, that's when I always move out. <laughs> that, that part's not that weird. <laughs> We always do it like that. <laughs> um, Kayak, thanks for the six months. Um, you thought blue was the last gen? Yeah, blue is the last gen. Blue is the next gen. We're on the second to last gen. We're on the green gen. Blue is next. The last one is blue. We're on nine. Blue is ten. So you're right. <laughs> and like, thank you for the nine month resub too. Um, okay, anyway. We are going to just start, I guess. I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous. Starting this kind of thing is always a little scary to me. Um, this might take some stopping and st restarting and bulldozing, okay? Good. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page. All right, let's begin. Um, it's also, I mean, this lot is really big, so that's kind of a win as well, I guess, that we have that going for us. I know we want to have a sneaky upstairs, and I kind of want the house to be like a little bit deceptively big, like I don't, or yeah, I don't want you to realize how much space is upstairs and stuff from the outside. Um, but we're gonna wanna have like some bedrooms upstairs probably. Um, what's the rumor you've heard about a brown gen? Rumor. Um, there are like not so very extended versions that have other colors. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a rumor, it's a fact. People have made, like the community has made additional versions of, of the challenge. Um, yeah, not really so much rumors as they are facts. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I didn't write those though. Um, I don't really have any plans right now to make an extended version of Not So Berry myself. Um, kind of leave that to the community, you know? Could Moss have a gross green pond? I don't know. Maybe. You've been hearing there's a brown gen being added. Well, <laughs> as the person who wrote it, that is news to me. <laughs> there are existing not so very extended versions that like I just said, so. Um. Okay, this is kind of the shape that I, it's not gonna be flat against the roof, obviously. I'm just starting it like this, but that's kind of like the initial shape that I was picturing. Oops, wrong thing. Um, guys, we can't have a moat. I know you mean well, but we absolutely cannot have a moat. If we have a moat, there won't be enough space for my graves. Get it together. I know it's a funny meme, but 
You need to focus. We have to think critically about our plans, okay? This is serious business. Okay. Um, <laughs> we, need, we have a lot of graves. They're gonna take up the whole building, essentially. We gotta make sure we're ready for that. Okay, anyway, this is kind of my thought right now about the roof shape. It's, this is very long. I'll probably make it skinnier than this, but we don't need to do that yet. For now, we can just think about this part. I also, part of me kind of wants to have actually, maybe I will extend this like way far forward so we can get it kind of L-shaped. <laughs> I won't be using this. <laughs> That's for sure. That's really strange. Um, but we can maybe make it kind of L-shaped and that might be helpful for us. I don't know. Um, okay, this is fine. Anna, Kiel, Starry. Uh, we also got uh, Ale and Emily and Phil and Amos. Thank you for the subs. Okay. Good as a starting point, perhaps. Um, I think that I kind of like the idea of there being, and I guess potentially if I did it like this, we could have more to this room, but probably not. I don't think I'm gonna use this little small space. This is more just here to be decorative. And that is not so good. <laughs> should I make this part wider? I don't know. I don't really want it to be wider, but maybe it should be. Scoot it over one. It might be better if it's a smidge wider. I want it to be small. This is the problem. We need the house to be like very little, but it's okay. That's a little bit bigger now, so it could become like a bathroom or something, which is for the best. Wider but shorter the other way. What, this way? I'm trying to make the house kind of an L shape on purpose. Um, we can always adjust the shape of the building more once we actually start doing the floor plan, but I want it to be kind of L-shaped. That was intentional. Um, if it's wider, the roof will too, be too big. Oh yeah, well, I wouldn't make it any wider than this. This is like kind of the max for me. Um, probably shouldn't do that. No, guys, I don't like it being wider. I want it to be small again. I'm putting it back. I'm not taking any comments about this at this time. This, this fits my cottage vibes, and that's the most that I'm going to allow myself to do. Dabbling with diagonals? Yeah, I am. Perhaps a mistake, but we'll see. I kind of like the idea of there being, like... Even if just a small section, I kind of like the idea of there being something diagonal poking out right there. But I don't know. I don't know. This is a little bit bigger than, I, oh, maybe it isn't that big, I don't know. We are really in for it with this build. <laughs> We're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> she is very large. <laughs> Diagonal greenhouse, I don't know about it. I don't really wanna have an attached greenhouse, I don't think, um, but we'll see. Maybe something off in the back, but I don't really want to have it be attached. Um, okay, so what I'm thinking here, and this is probably bad, because I kind of want it to be like rounded and you can't really do that. It would be fun if it was like really round though, wouldn't it? I don't know. I want the front door to be up there. I also want to have like, I'm thinking that I want to have like a front gate. I want you to like walk in through, I don't know what kind of fence it'll be. Just like some sort of fence though. Cause I want it to be like, well, maybe not, I'm not sure. Mossy thatched roof. So we've already decided on the roof. We know for a fact we're gonna use this roof color cause it's got all the moss on it. We don't really know what else is gonna happen aside from that. But the Sim who lives here, their name is Moss. So that's kind of a given, like we have to do that. 
you know, um, converted barn. That's not the vibes. We're going for cottage. Bear with me, okay, Chad? <laughs> We're gonna get this. It's gonna be okay. It's just sometimes it takes um, some time to get, like, the vision figured out. Um, I don't really like that. But patience, please, as we're going through this. Um, okay, I kind of want to have it be diagonal, actually. The more I think about it, the more I'm into the idea. I just think it might be kind of fun if we had a slate part that was diagonal. I don't know. What roof that is? It's from the werewolves pack. Um, werewolves has some kind of interesting stuff like this that you maybe wouldn't expect it to have. So, kind of fun. Okay, I like that. I think that's cool. What happens if I try to like build the roof out similar to how I did it over there? Please hold everybody. I'm thinking. That does kind of give it the cottagey flair that I feel like it needs. I don't know. Could be interesting. Maybe. It doesn't really fit correctly. There you go. Um, yeah, it looks a little, it looks a little cottagey. That's good. Maybe there's like a small dormer here with like a round bit on the roof. Okay. Okay. I think that actually is pretty good. Um, is there music you just joined, you can't hear it? Oh, it's playing. I keep it quiet though, cause you guys, there's only so much of the Sims 2 soundtrack that I can emotionally handle. So if you tell me that you can't hear it right now, I'm not turning it up, okay? <laughs> I won't be adjusting it any further than what it's at right now. <laughs> I listen to this thing every day. <laughs> I actually like this. I think that's pretty good. That's gonna be a pain for the floor plan, but it's okay. I think it's good. Um. I'm also a little bit, if I'm being honest, the very little tiniest bit channeling Shrek Swamp. Just, just a smidge of the swamp, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Will I use the second floor? Yeah, it's a pretty decent size second floor. Uh, we're probably gonna put a couple bedrooms up here. Maybe just two, like one on each side or something. Maybe an office, I don't know. Um, but yes, swamp needs a pond. Oh, I'm gonna put a pond. We're definitely gonna have a pond. That's for sure. Okay, let's get that part back in. Um, I don't really know what I wanna do with the backyard yet and how I wanna lay out the back. I like the front a lot, so that kinda complicates things with the back. Let's think what we need. So moss is going to be a programmer. Moss's wife is a spellcaster. So she's probably gonna need some sort of like magic room, but I might give that to her in like a shed in the back because the lot is so big. Um, maybe she can have a greenhouse too for it. But she has a lot of, she's gonna need a lot of stuff. So we'll make sure we, uh, prepare for that. I don't know. That's kind of stressing me out, the thought of all that spellcaster stuff. Moss has a wife? No, but Moss has a girlfriend who will be his wife, or who will be their wife, sorry. Confusing myself as I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. <laughs> but she's a spellcaster, um, and they're dating right now. They will get married. Eventually. Cottage definitely has a basement. Yeah, we can have a basement. I'm not opposed to that. Um, but we'll have to see. 
thinking while roofing is impossible. Yeah, it's hard to, <laughs> while I'm like sat here trying to think out what I'm doing and also talk the whole time. <laughs> it's kind of, and the chat's all talking about something else. <laughs> it throws you off a lot, <laughs> more than you might expect. Um, okay, I might actually just do this similar thing that we have in the front with this roof, but then I'll have like two dormers back here. Um, oh, I don't know if that's good or not. I can't really tell. It depends how I want to do the floor plan. I might come back to that. We can always adjust the back later. Like, we don't have to have the back completely figured out right now, you know? We can always add to that once we're working on it more. Um... Okay, I'm actually gonna take this. I wanna have a slightly different piece of this roof. I want this one to have trim at the base and I want this one to not have trim at the bottom. Okay, I might wrap this around this thing too. Kind of makes it unnecessarily complicated, but it's okay. Is the factory build finished? Yeah, we finished that a few days ago. Um, that one has been done for a bit. Okay. So something like this will be how the roof looks. That actually, I think, came together pretty nicely. Ooh, looks good in the evening. I think that's nice. Let me think about the floor plan. Again, we can add to the back, but let's let's save that until we're, we've worked on it more. That was fast. <laughs> yeah, I had, a, I had a vision with this one. We knew what we were looking for. We just had to make it work. <laughs> okay, Wisteria, Babs, and Patty, and Amy, thank you for the subs. I'm also gonna save quick. Snow Queen, Lumix, Lemonade, thank you so much. Um, which lot is this? It's a 50 by 40 lot. It's usually an empty lot in Henford on Bagley. It's called Two Old Mill Lane, but it's the one that normally is empty in Henford on Bagley. Um, is there a set rule for when you go on to the next gen? I couldn't really figure it out from the Tumblr post. Um, Scarlet, I don't know how other people play Legacies, but when you move on, it's kind of just like when the Sim is ready, when they age up to young adult, technically, I guess. But with any legacy, there is some overlap between like your adult previous gen and the aging up teen, young adult, new gen, you know? So it kind of just depends when you're ready, when you finish the rules, when you want to move on, when you want to get started with the next one. It doesn't really matter what you do. It's, it's up to you with that one. Um, but with any legacy, I think there's a little bit of overlap there because, you know, the Sims are both adults at the same time for a bit. Uh, in this case, in my case, my previous gen heir died. <laughs> so that gave me a pretty clear time to move on. <laughs> but she had finished all of her uh, stuff that she needed to do for the generation anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so on the inside, we know we need to have four rooms. Um, I want to have... Let me try and, like, fix the clipping of this a tiny bit, too. Oh, no. I don't really want... I guess that's the best that I can do, is just stop it there. We'll have to ignore that part. It's okay. Save the game. I did, Libby, just, like, two seconds ago. I haven't even done anything. Who is raising Moss's little siblings, then? Jerk dad? Well, Moss's two younger brothers that are both teens... Um, Moss is gonna live with them in this house. Uh, the alien siblings that the dad had with his affair partner, those aren't my problem. Those ones he's raising on his own. Um, okay, that's bad. I don't like that. Uh, maybe? If we had... I know I want to have, like... Oh, ooh, 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 this is good, actually. Stick that in the... in the little entrance. Maybe I could wrap this around, then. Is that cool? 
Oops. No, stop. Stop. Oh my god. Got it. Okay. Um, I guess that's not that cool for the downstairs, is it? So that kind of complicates things up there. Um. Back to? Okay. Something like that. Because that makes this into a bedroom. That makes this into a bedroom. And then there's like an upstairs nook. That's a really weird shaped bedroom. <laughs> I kind of like it though. It's fun that it's weirdly shaped, right? Um, maybe this becomes Moss's bedroom. Moss can have... Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's really weird. That might be Moss's bathroom and then Moss's office. Over there. I don't really like the, um... I don't really know if I like it like that. So I'm not sure. Their own wing, yeah. Um, they enter their bedroom through that place. Um, and you would go in the doors. I guess this might not be too bad. Because there will be doors like there. It doesn't really have the like formal entryway that I want it to. I'm okay with the goofy corners. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. Um, it's just, it's gonna have to. It's gonna have to. Um... Okay, so I'm guessing that down this way, how do I want to split this up? Maybe I'll redo all this again. Will we have a basement? I'm not 100% decided on that. Chat wants a basement. I don't know if I care that much about the basement. But maybe, I'll put it back for a sec. Maybe the stairs can go on the other bump upstairs. I don't know, I like the stairs like this. Do you not like the stairs there? I feel pretty good about the staircase like that. I guess, potentially, depending on how we wanna build this out, we could give ourselves, like, maybe the, um, maybe the staircase into the basement does go, like, right here. And then we close that off. It makes it so we have a kind of tight little entryway. Intentionally. I don't know if I love that, though. Too much. But maybe it's better if I scoot it over one. So I close the stairs off like this. We don't necessarily need to have a bookcase door for it. We just want to have like some sort of door separating it. Um, we can do an archway like there or something. I don't know. That's fine. It's, it's kind of a bunch of wasted space in that area, but it might be okay. And then this is the living room like over here. Um, did I decide on the horse? No. <laughs> um, no, I did not. I think... Also, with if we do it like this, we don't have a... We don't have an ensuite bathroom for Moss. Which is maybe okay. I was thinking originally that when I first built this, it was gonna be this would be Moss's bedroom, and that's the ensuite bathroom. But... Maybe that could be like a hall bathroom. And we get like an extra bathroom. Maybe I could try and steal some space. That really complicates things here. Can 
close that off. But that means we have- uh, I guess the room's too small, though. I don't really like it like that. Does Moss need an ensuite bathroom? There's not even space for a bathroom upstairs. We've ruined a lot of this house. It's- it's a waste. What we've done is a lot of wasted space. Um... Because there's, realistically, like with the floor plan, the way that it is, there's not room for a bathroom up here. Not if I want to have like a wide enough staircase. Basement bathroom? Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a given. I don't really want to only have the two bathrooms and one's in the basement, though. We are- our sims are rich, and this is like the 19th generation of a legacy, so I kind of want it to be nice. <laughs> um, you guys keep saying stairs in the nook, but I don't think you understand what that entails. The stairs in, in the nook would be like right here, and this is where the back door is supposed to go. It's too close. Um, it's not really good like that. I don't want the stairs to be the other way around. I don't really... Uh, I might need to redo the whole floor plan. Um, so that's a shame. <laughs> Made the entry tighter again to fit the cottage vibes. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Um, Cause that's what I wanted all along. I'm just gonna redo the whole floor plan, okay? Please hold. I'm- we can always put it back like this, but I'm just gonna do it again, because I'm not really feeling obsessed with this. I think it needs to be done all over. Alternative concept is to have the kitchen living dining space be on this side. Instead. Um, so that's always an idea as well. Um, okay, so... Potentially... The... Potentially the staircase could go like... Oh, maybe you could fit in like right there. Hold on. Oh no. Also, hi Miv. <laughs> Fuck it, Kristen Vera, thank you for the subs. I'm, uh, trying to figure out my floor plan for my legacy house, and it's not really going the best. So that's kind of where we're at right now. It's gonna be fine, though. Don't worry. Um. Yeah, that's bad. Like, that is really bad. That's not the vibes at all. I guess we could try and... Close it off like that. Well, maybe I could move this, the basement staircase too. That does give us extremely skinny downstairs vibes. So maybe I'll put like a half wall on top of that. I don't know. But that does make for a, a small formal entry, which is also good. Hi, Steph. <laughs> Okay, Kristen, thank you for the subs. Hope you're doing well. Oh no. Basement entrance from the outside? Oh no, I want to have the basement entrance inside to help split up more of the room. So we'd have the basement entrance inside on purpose. Um, that would be intentional. Maybe this becomes a small, like, little half bathroom in the downstairs. Or, well, probably more realistically, I should have a doorway to the other half of the house from right there. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> that makes more sense. Um, okay. And then this becomes a bathroom. So it, we managed to keep the upstairs floor plan, but with less ridiculous hallway. So this is probably for the best. Um, maybe I'll... Oh, you can't build a wall like that? Mm. This really bugs me. I mean that when I say it. It's okay. So there's a bathroom upstairs. There's two bedrooms upstairs. 
There's plenty of space to work with in here. We have a little entryway. Can I place a half wall there? Well, that's what I was originally envisioning, but then when I said I couldn't place a wall, it's when I got scared. But that's what I was originally picturing as there being a half wall, yeah. Um, the answer is no. Can you do fence? No, you can only do fence there. That's so annoying. I really hate how the stairs aren't like flush against with, with the wall. But put stairs where the bathroom is now. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh my God. The number of times I've had to show chat why this isn't going to work. Um, I don't like, you see how the, the one tile that doesn't, that doesn't work for me. Um, would stair railing work? Well, we're going to have a stair railing. Um, yeah, there will be a stair railing. I don't really know which one yet, but even then, it doesn't really look how I want it to, but it doesn't matter. I'm not discussing the stairs at this current moment. We're stopping with the stairs now. <laughs> Leave, thanks for the three months. Oh no, this build is becoming a curse. Um, okay, so from here, how about this? How about we end up getting the bathroom downstairs, like right there. And then we still use this space, like it's Moss's bedroom. And then Moss still has their own, oh my God, Moss still has their own private bathroom. And then this weird thing becomes Moss's office. And then this area on this half of the house is all of the kitchen, living, dining. I guess I do need to have a space for the basement stairs. And I haven't really thought that part through. Okay, hold on. Downstairs bathroom can be smaller. Come here. This might actually end up being okay. If we can just get this figured out, it might be fine in the end. No, I don't, I really don't want to have outside stairs to the basement. That's a common suggestion as well. I really don't want to have stairs outside to the basement. Um, not in this house. I'd rather have easier access to it for my Sims. Oh my God. Sometimes when I'm trying to rotate this around, just make it flat. Okay. Trying to rotate this around sometimes can be such a nightmare. Um, okay. Maybe I build like half wall or a wall like that. I guess I could shrink this. This room, it's gonna become um, Moss's partner. She's probably gonna have her like spellcaster stuff down here. So we need to make sure we have enough room for all that. That's kind of the situation. I don't really like that that's open. Maybe I make it so there's a door. We could have a door and then we could maybe, what if I put like a utility room in the basement just for the, the vibes. We could put like the water heater and stuff down there just cause it looks cool. Okay. I don't really understand why the lighting is, like that, but it's okay. <laughs> Kai, she builds houses, fake. And Samantha and Layla, thank you for the subs. Fake laundry room? Yeah, maybe. Just, I, I appreciate you saying fake because that is the key, isn't it? I, I cannot bring myself to have a real laundry room in this house. That's not my vibes. Um, did you miss an episode of the Not So Very Legacy? I thought Moss was still going after Frank. <laughs> That's a different save. Um, for a second, I thought you were talking about Moss because Moss also has an ex-boyfriend. That's you're thinking of my my um, YouTube Let's Play when you're talking about Frank. Um, so that you are you did not miss an episode of Not So Very maybe, but um, it is understandably confusing. Um. Okay, well, I wanna have like, in this downstairs area, these rooms are so weird, aren't they? One, two, three bathrooms, four bedrooms, okay. This is gonna be the kitchen, living, and dining rooms. I think that potentially 
the kitchen needs extending. Like this one. You named your pig and wildflowers, Frank? Oh, I named the sewer cat that I found, Frank. So, um, Tinker and Moss are both green though. Yeah, it is a weird timing in my Let's Plays. <laughs> the Sims are both green. <laughs> uh, but people often get my YouTube series and my Twitch series confused. It's very common. Lots of like, wait, I thought, what happened to Baby Bell, you know? <laughs> Um, different, uh, different saves, believe it or not. Okay, so, I'm thinking that, this could be the living room, potentially. I like it being a little smaller, cause smaller makes it tighter and I think that's good. Um, let me just put down some furniture so I can think shape. It's maybe a little bit bigger than I would want it to be, but it'll, it'll do. That'll be cozy. Um, bay window. Oh, I don't really know if I want to add something else out here. We can think about different actual windows. There's been a lot of chat spam about bay windows recently today. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I want to add something on there yet. I'm going to wait until I do the windows. Um, we we got to pause for a second so we can actually think about the floor plan because that's kind of the, the main concern at the minute. Um, maybe this could become like a small... Do you want to just do like hallway space? And then... This could be the kitchen dining op open. I don't know, hallway's probably a mistake. I just, I want it to be kind of closed off on purpose. Um, like that's sort of intentional with this house. This is Hemford on Bagley, not Moon Mill. We're in Hemford on Bagley. It's the world that comes with cottage living. Um, a closet? Yeah, I mean, a closet would be kind of fun to have. They just don't really, I don't like the look of the actual closets and then Decorative ones aren't that necessary, but we could always put a door there and have it be like a closet. That's why I built the wall in the first place. But I'm thinking if we leave it open, there could be a window. And that might be better. Um, could also potentially make another bathroom in here if we really wanted to. But we have a bathroom right there, so we don't really need an extra one. There's already a tiny bathroom here. But we could like shrink it and have an extra bathroom. if we really so so desired. Um, I might put some built-ins right there because that makes the kitchen a little bit bigger. Desk nook? Oh, we're gonna have an office. So then the dining table goes here, the kitchen goes like this, living room, hallway. I guess it does make the hallway more useful. Moss could probably have an archway into their office. So that'll be nice and open. Um, no such thing as too many bathrooms, yeah. I mean, this is the thing also, right? Like everybody throws out all the all these ideas like, oh, put a pantry, oh, put this. Um, and uh, we have to bear in mind that like, this is a, a house that I'm actively playing in. So sometimes it's more useful to, to have like functional things like an extra toilet, you know? Um, but it all kind of depends. Another idea that might be kind of cool is if we used it to like put my sims, cause you know how in the old house, we have like the trinket shelves that we've been doing. We could do some like built-ins with all my trinkets on this wall. And that might be useful. Cause it's decorative and, and nice. I don't know. Um, is Pulp still with us? Yeah, I gave Pulp another age down treat yesterday. <laughs> uh, Pulp will never die. <laughs> I mean that when I say it. <laughs> Pulp has had yet another age down treat and, and they're gonna keep coming. <laughs> so. There is space for trinkets upstairs though, I guess. I don't know, it depends. We'll see. Um, okay. I may try and put like a built-in bookshelf there. I'm not gonna use this room though. That's not really necessary for me. 
Um, Mr. And, and Alia and Sloth and 23 and Art and Fantasy and Crystal and Private, thank you for the subs. Um, oh, can Dan just messaged me something funny about the TikTok shop. Listen to this, you guys. Yesterday, um, I was complaining to Dan about how I think the TikTok shop is ruining TikTok because it's like nonstop people advertising stuff and trying to sell you things and it's so agitating. And then Dan was like, I've never gotten a TikTok shop video. And I said, what? And he was like, yeah, I've never gotten one. And then I started ranting about how, is it because you're a man? And then apparently his Twitch chat is saying that maybe it's because he still has UK TikTok, but I think you guys have TikTok shop in the UK. So is it because he's, he might have a UK TikTok on his phone or is it because he's a man? No, it's nothing he doesn't notice. He doesn't even have the stupid shop tab. You know the shop tab in the TikTok app? Dan has no TikTok shop. He doesn't get any TikTok shop anything. <laughs> I'm telling him. Infuriating. No, his app is updated. We checked. His app is up to date. It's not. I, it makes me so angry <laughs> that he doesn't have to deal with this. I'm not kidding. His app, we checked this last night. We went through a whole discussion yesterday about this. Um, but anyway, I am, I'm in my really strong anti TikTok era because I'm getting so frustrated at how many TikTok shop videos I'm getting. I'm sick of the people trying to sell me stuff. It, it's like making me irrationally angry. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if I like this wallpaper on this, but we're gonna think about it for a second, okay? We know it needs to be like a mossy green color. I'm thinking I'm gonna do some like stone stuff and then use this kind of like an accent color um, and mix and match a lot of stuff like that. It's kind of the vision. Um, Cause there is like, the castle estate pack has like this mossy tone. I don't really like that though on that wall. I don't think that's good. I don't think it looks good with the roof. Um, but we'll use that for like, you know, the patios and stuff for sure. Um, it's dark. Well, it's, yeah, it's gonna be. So if you don't like it, please don't yell at me. You're not gonna be happy about this build if you don't like the darkness of it. Um, I think I want to get a stone. I'm thinking like, some sort of stone. I don't really, like I said, I don't really like, know if I like the castle estate one because I don't know if it matches the roof that well. Um, it does have mossy vibes, but... Um, in a darker swatch. Well, the mossy one doesn't come in a darker swatch. If you want moss, then it has to be that color. Um, we could do like solid green stucco, which I don't really like, but just throwing it out there as an idea. Um, I think we could just do like a gray, grayish brown stone. We could do like a literal stone. I might, I'm gonna change the flooring of the foundation, so don't worry about that too. Um, I kinda, I'm not opposed to the idea of the horse ranch stuff, but can we do vines? Oh, there's gonna be so many plants on the outside of this building. Oh, that has green energy, but I don't like how it looks with it. I actually kind of like how this one looks, if I'm being honest. I'm not really obsessed with most of this stuff. I don't really like this one either. Um, I don't know. I think it's kind of busy in like not so much a good way, but I think I like the brick, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Also, I wanna look at in Horse Ranch. This comes in a deep green, okay. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> That's all I needed to know. <laughs> People are asking if I've tried the bigger cottage living stuff, but I don't really know if I want to. I don't know. Um, it is nice, don't get me wrong, but 
Well, we could maybe use it. It is pretty, I guess. Is it fine like that on those pieces of wall? Is there enough of the other green color? Wow, look how big the moon is. I hadn't noticed that. That's kind of excessive, I think. <laughs> Doesn't that seem a little bit extreme to you? Um, okay, so I'm thinking about windows. I'm kind of leaning towards, I use like whatever window and then I mix and match with my own shutters. That is my thought. We have to pick a window that, or like a set of windows from a pack. Are we in nighttime? Yeah, it's in, it's in evening time. The lighting is bad in the other times. The morning's okay, but the lighting is bad a lot of the time. So, um, and go into live mode to make it better. I like it in the evening. <laughs> um, this shutter is from Horse Ranch, yeah. That shutter is from Horse Ranch. Um, speaking of which, I'm not really feeling the Horse Ranch windows. Cottage Living, I like the Cottage Living windows. Here's the problem with them. I would be tempted to use like, oh dear God, I'd be tempted to use like that sort of thing, but I wanna put my own shutters. And there's not really that many windows. Like there isn't that much size variation of the other windows. There's things like Seasons that could maybe work but then the shutters are a little bit big, or a little bit small, I mean, for the season's windows. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. Part of me is actually leaning towards, like, these base game ones, to be honest. Um, I think that might be okay. The werewolves windows? Oh. Werewolves windows are horrifying. I mean, they're like kind of factory vibes. Totally not what I'm going for with this. Um, good idea in theory, but probably not good for this build. Um, okay. Shall I try to do a couple small windows down here? If you complain about the shutters being too big, I'm gonna cry, by the way. Um, welcome to The Sims 4. They're not gonna fit perfectly right, just won't. Laundry day window, um. Oh, deleted the whole thing by accident. Laundry day, people are always like, they get so picky about the realism of the shutters and they'll be talking about how it's like, oh, this is for medium wall height. That's not gonna work. There is one from, and I mean, we could potentially try and place it even though it does belong on medium wall height. But, um, laundry day again, just so I can show you what they're talking about. You see how it's too big? They want a bay window. I can't make it medium wall height, especially not now, because we already did the whole staircase. So it can't be changed. Um, didn't know laundry day had a window. That, I mean, yeah, I don't think you're alone in that feeling. It's not so obvious that laundry day even has the window. Oh, that would have been cool. See, this isn't green, so that's not gonna work, but there are some default bay windows. I don't really care to put a custom bay window on this. I know that people really have been talking about it, but when you do that, I just feel like it gets so... I don't know if I want it. And then as soon as you place it, it's like you can't delete it because then they're all gonna be like, oh, it's perfect. And then if I don't like it, I can't change my mind, but... Um... Oh, you know what we need to get? Are like these. Part of the problem with this is if I use the fake bay window, or the real bay window I mean, we can't really do the stuff on the outside, the like vines and stuff as easily. It won't look as good. 
And they filter by eco lifestyle. Or sorry, Discover University so I can show you. If I tried snowy escape windows, I don't really want to use the snowy escape windows for this. I think they're a little on the big side. Um, but I am picturing stuff like this. And we don't want to have the bay window because then it's going to mess with our our pretty decor, you see? And that would just be terrible. Um, you're gonna have to just, we're just gonna have to accept the fact that it's like clipping a little bit up there, okay? I think that's just gonna have to be how it is. Okay, I'm gonna try and scoot these close together. Oh wait, I could just use the, let me get like this one. Slightly bigger window with some pretty and decorative shutters. Okay, that has like small cottage energy. Right? Why are you doing that? Okay, it's not clipping. I think that's actually really pretty. And then we could get some more debug vines to help add a little bit extra to it. I think we're onto something. <laughs> it's taken us a while to get to this point, but <laughs> I think that we're onto something. We could put like, I don't know, an extra one. Just to help fill in more of the wall. I think that could be really cool. Um, I guess scoot that off the wall just a smidge so it blends in better. Yeah, and then there's gonna be a lot of landscaping, so it's all gonna look really good together. I'm excited. <laughs> Emmy, Pistachio, Ab, and CMS, and Cozy, thank you for the subs. Who's the alien? Just a random test sim. They are nobody. Okay, I'm gonna save. It's been an hour already? I know, it, the thing is, it takes a, a lot longer to get started with these not so berry builds. Um than like normal ones. It's been an hour and we've like barely done anything, <laughs> it seems like, but it's okay. We're getting somewhere. I wanna use a pretty door. I like the idea of like one of these prettier and like more decorative doors. Um, I don't like the color of that stone at all and the green one is bad. Yeah, maybe I'll just use this one. It has cottage energy. That's what we need from it, is cottage energy, so. Um, am I going to put the ivy on the green wallpaper? We're gonna put ivy all over the place. So don't worry, there'll be a bunch of stuff everywhere. We need a different um, foundation too. That's not gonna work anymore. I don't really know which one to swap it to. To be honest, the new castle one, it's like simple and subtle enough that it might be okay. I always have a hard time with this because it's like the cottage living wallpapers don't match any of the foundations. So I always kind of struggle with what to combine. We could just use this one. We're gonna put a lot of plants around it anyway. So like the parts where it's kind of obvious, where it like doesn't match, we'll put some plants so you won't be able to tell as easily. So I think that should be fine. I think we can try that. Okay, well that's one more uh, helpful use of the castle kit, I guess, that I hadn't really considered. Um, maybe just one shutter on the single window. This is what I mean. I, you guys, I, I don't really care what is realistic about the number of shutters. <laughs> I am more interested in like the symmetry of it and, and like me thinking that it looks good. Um, so I'm gonna probably keep it with the two shutters, uh, even though it's like only a single window and the one shutter fits and all this. Um, so. Okay. Mossy pond for Moss's house. Oh, we're gonna have a pond. We are definitely gonna have a pond. That is the vision. Okay, that's a good start, I think. Um, 
and then we'll get a little bit of a staircase. I'll get a little bit of a thingy outside. Maybe needs to get raised up just a smidge more. It's okay, we'll cover the foundation, so don't worry about the foundation too much. It's all right. I do think that the green shutters on the green wallpaper are like, <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of silly. All right, let's just be honest with ourselves. But it is a not so berry house. So it, it is silly. Like that's just kind of how it goes. So cream color, brown. You think I should change the color of the shutters when it's a different... Wouldn't it be weird to have like two different shutter colors? You can't really see the, um, the wall as well. Looks like a textured wall. Yeah, I'm okay with it being green, the shutters up against the green. But we can always come back to that. We aren't like, you know, obviously we're not stuck with it, so. We could change it at any time. There's gonna be plants there. There's gonna have to be. Um, looks better green, you think so? Okay. We can keep it green then. So this is a bedroom. So we're gonna wanna have a decent sized window in it. Cause that is gonna be probably the only window in this bedroom. Cause this is a chimney. Yeah, so that'll be the only window in that bedroom. Um, those are base game windows. Yeah, they're not anything fancy, just the base game windows. Believe it or not. Um, okay, I have an idea. Don't know if it's a good idea. I wonder if I could try to put like potentially a tiny little bump out right here. Just to have like another, I don't know if that's good or not, but I'd probably just paint that all to match. It makes the window less flat, I don't know. Something. I think it looks good from the outside. Should that be green then? To get more of the green trim? I don't know, I'm trying to add more stone though, aren't I? I'm not sure, we'll come back to that. <laughs> I may change the coloring of that later, but for now, it'll be fine the way that it is. Okay. Um. Once we have a lot of landscaping in here, it'll come together more too. Oh wait, the other problem with doing it like this though, is that it makes us not have as much wall space for the ivy to wrap around. Which maybe is bad. Um, Cause like, keeping in mind, right, that we're gonna have Oh, that's weird. I sort of like how much bigger those pieces are. What about the wisteria stuff? Um, I don't really like the wisteria that much. The wisteria that comes in the game. I don't know if I love it. Maybe no bump out is better. Let me just, hold on. Let me just think about this, okay? Um, I wish that I could put that like lower and into the floor. I guess there's probably gonna be a tree here, so it'll cover the clipping. Wisteria is purple, not the vibes. See, you get it, you understand. I appreciate the, uh, the understanding here with this. That helps. If you don't like the clipping, don't worry, we're gonna put like plants in the building, so it'll cover it. 
But this is why the reason that I didn't want to use the bump out was literally because of this. Like, I feel like if we wanted to have all of this, you can't have the bump out there because then the bump out would be in it. And that's no fun. Um, it's hard to fit the ivy when you're trying to do a house this short with the roof overhang so much. Um, it's okay though. I think that short walls are kind of a necessity for the vibes of this place to make sense. Should I do like two windows or is that... I don't know. I guess we have not too many windows that are this big in the other places, but it might be cute to have. Plus that's the office, so Moss deserves to have a bunch of natural light. That seems fine to me. Is the reason we're doing the bricks from the castle builds? Oh, it didn't look good, Hurdle, at all. We tried them. The So we wanted to have like the mossy swatch, right? Because the Sims name is literally moss. But it just, it, the, the mossy color, because the moss swatch of those castle bricks is only on one shade of brick. It's like the yellowy toned brick. It just didn't, it didn't work. It didn't look good together. We did try it though. Don't worry. Um, I did not like forget or anything. <laughs> I think the moss castle brick looked beautiful. It's a pretty brick. I just don't think it matched. Like it didn't match the roof. It just didn't, it wasn't working, so. Um, moss is gonna be a programmer is what job they do. They only aged up until young adult yesterday, so they don't have a job yet because they aged up and then I ended stream. <laughs> so they graduated high school about two seconds ago in that save. <laughs> um, Ariel, thank you for the 18 months. And Allie and Ellie and Robin, thank you for the subs. I appreciate that. Um, okay. Very cool. I guess I want this part to be stone as well. I guess this part could be stone. That's a lot of, oh no, that's bad. That part would look good as stone on the back, but not so much on the front, but I guess that's fine. Um, okay. Let's get ourselves these little guys. I don't really want it to clip, so I guess I gotta alt place it. Um, how did Moss's mom die? Oh, she died of anger because her husband cheated on her with an alien. And she was so upset that she literally died of rage. You actually can't make this stuff up. That is a true story. Um, <laughs> it was very unfortunate. Okay. I think that once there's a bunch of landscaping on the outside of this too, it'll make way more sense and like fit together way better. Um, it's gonna need a lot of plants to help make it fit in though. <laughs> RJ Classical Olive, thank you for the subs. Your Jello Jen's husband died of anger too after work. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's been, I don't remember when I last had a Sim die of anger, like actually by accident. Um, cause I've definitely like encouraged it, if you will, at times, <laughs> but it's been a long time since it's been like a genuine, true accident that my Sim has died of anger. This is Henford on Bagley. Yeah. Um, we're in one of the, it's usually empty this lot that we're on right now. Um, but we are, obviously it's not empty today because I'm building on it, but this is the one that's normally got nothing on it if you're looking for it and wondering what it is. Um, okay, that clipping, just ignore it, all right? <laughs> Don't worry about that part. <laughs> We're gonna put some plants there. It's gonna cover it. It's gonna be totally fine. Am I gonna post this to YouTube? Yeah, I post uh, pretty much all of my speed builds on YouTube that I do on stream. 
Um, just not always straight away, you know? Sometimes I have like kind of a backlog, so I will post it, but it might be a couple weeks before it gets up on YouTube, if that makes sense. Okay, I gotta fix the roof trim on this too, obviously, but that seems nice. I like how that goes in the corner quite nicely as well. That's pretty good. Am I gonna finish this build today? No, there's no way. <laughs> it's uh, way too big. I've I've uh, already planned in my like upload schedule, that or my stream schedule, I mean, that we're gonna work on it more tomorrow. But it's way too big for us to do in one day. There's basically no chance I could finish it all at once like that. <laughs> As you can imagine, just looking at it, it's quite big, so. It'll take us a bit of time. We'll work on it tomorrow. Um, any of the builds that I'm using for like my own legacy challenges and like my own gameplay, they usually take me a while, like even longer than a normal build, cause I get like really picky. I think I'm kind of picky with like any builds in The Sims. But when it's for my legacy challenge in particular for Not So Berry, cause it's got like such uh, specific goals in mind, you know, um, it makes it so that I uh, spend a really long time on it all. I'm gonna do a kind of cottagey thing like that, I think. I like that flooring, that's cool. Um, all right, we're getting somewhere. Shall I use the same door that I did in the front? I kind of like that door, so I'm kind of leaning towards yes. Let's just do it. Okay. And then I take you. I shall take you. This part is going to be the dining room. So it might be kind of fun to have a bigger window right there. Just to have some more natural light in here. I like that, I think. You delete the underside of the stairs, but you don't need to spend money on that. <laughs> it is the world from cottage living. Yeah, that's where we are right now. It is the world from cottage living. Okay. Um, yeah, I think once it has a lot more of the decor on it, like, like we keep saying, once it has more landscaping, it's gonna come together. Um. You always imag imagined a lime green mansion when we got to green gen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it really depends who your sim is that ends up being the heir. Like we're, we're kind of taking the fact that the sim's name is Moss and running with it. Um, we're, we're like taking this whole mossy thing and, and really embracing it. <laughs> um, but you might have a, a different vibe for your sim. They are supposed to be in the tech guru career. Um, and so with that, I mean, you might, you might decide to have them be like, you know, super modern mansion in the city because they're like in tech. Um, it really just depends what, how you read it and, and what you want to do and where you want to take it, you know? And I think that's kind of fun about it. Okay, those are a different color than the rest of the greens. So that kind of bothers me. Oh no. This is that wisteria that people were talking about. I'm not too interested in using the wisteria if I'm being honest. I know that's maybe bad, but... Um, okay, so in the back, I'm thinking that we should get a greenhouse for Elphaba. Because she's supposed to have... Uh, well, she's a spellcaster, so she's probably gonna need some stuff like that, you know? Um, and then maybe... What do you want to do for the... Will there be room for a green horse? <laughs> oh! So, we have... Oh my god, there's literally a green stone. Are you serious? doesn't really match, but so, so we've talked about the horse thing. We had a whole discussion about this yesterday on stream, trying to decide what made the most sense. Um, thought you were doing a basement. Yeah, she's got to have her magic stuff down there, but she needs a greenhouse still. 
so she can actually grow the plants that she's gonna need to use for her spell casting. Um, but anyway, the, the problem with the horse is that I had a horse for a while. Um, <laughs> uh, I had a horse for a while in this save because we got it when Horse Ranch came out. Um, and then we, it's just hard to have a horse in Not So Berry. Like, we have so much going on in the Not So Berry challenge that I think it's really difficult to also have a horse and like to, to do all of those things at once. Oh, you can't even see that window. Maybe that's fine though, because then moss can have a window in their bathroom. Uh, but it's just hard to, to like juggle all of those things because um, there's so much happening. Um, and so I don't really know if I, I don't think I want to have another horse in this. We already, we have a dog and a cat right now. And when our girlfriend moves in, she's going to bring her cat. So we're going to have three pets already. And it just seems like a lot. I think the thought of having all that. So I'm kind of leaning towards no. Okay. So here's the thing about what we're doing right now. Okay. This looks weird with the pavers. Hear me out. We're going to try and make it look like there's like pretty, pretty plants growing a little bit overgrown amongst the pavers. Kind of like that. So they'll cover it all up just a bit. Chickens? You think I should get chickens? I don't know. Aren't I kind of bad at taking care of the chickens in this game? I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm like, chat, don't you think I'm really bad at taking care of chickens in The Sims? You're probably like, I don't know, Kayla. <laughs> you tell me. No, I am bad at taking care of chickens in The Sims. See, they're all agreeing. It's because I am. And they know it. Um... Okay. So we're gonna have this part. Ooh, ooh, I have an idea. What if there was like, okay, this hedge fence is taller than the actual fence. <laughs> I need the shorter one, but even, even that is taller than the actual fence, but that's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it, all right? I say that we do this so that you can access the greenery or the grass part. That's kind of cool with it wide like that, right? I think so. Okay. See, it's cool. This is good. I'll get some little plants in the corner like that to fill it in. Okay. Is that for the goats? Um, so <laughs> the problem with the goats is that they're missing. And when I say that, I'm, I'm actually being like completely serious, not kidding. The goats disappeared. It's a, apparently, I didn't know this, it's a known bug where they like actually just disappear. So we don't have any goats right now because they poofed away. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> so it's not just me. People in chat will tell you it happened to them too. I didn't realize that was a thing that could happen. But yeah, goats, poof, disappeared. So we don't have the goats anymore. <laughs> they've, they've left us. <laughs> I don't know if they'll come back. They're not in anybody's inventory. They're not in the household inventory. Like, trust me, I've checked. They're gone. <laughs> the goats have like fully disappeared. Okay, this greenhouse, literally green greenhouse. We have been plotting for this since the greenhouse kit came out. I'm so excited about this. 
literally green greenhouse. Green greenhouse. <laughs> no, they're not in anybody's relationship panel either. That's part of the problem is they've like fully disappeared. Literally nobody knows them anymore. They're completely gone. <laughs> it's very strange. Um, okay, I think, well, that's like the exact right size for that. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna need to get the green glass and then we shall need to get the green trim and there's my green greenhouse oh that's so cool maybe I'll continue that inside the building then are you going to get more goats I don't I don't know they were there because we had the horses and the horse ranch stuff. Um, but I don't know. Let the chicken in, we, that's true, we have inventory chickens. We've had chickens in our inventory ever since Cottage Living first came out and I've never, we've put them in our inventory after those sims died and we never really use them again. I guess we could bring our chickens back. Um, potentially, I don't know. Let me see about, the cottage living stuff. The problem is, you guys, like I was just saying, if I if I actually do put the chickens, I'm not gonna do a good job of taking care of them. That's blue, that's annoying, but I guess that's fine. I'm not very good at caring for my Sims chickens. So we just have to be like kind of wary of that if we end up doing it. This is really big for this lot. I wonder if we could like, let me do a little test run to see if we can put it on a smaller lot. Cause I'm okay with that. Um, okay, I think, let's go to manage worlds and just try and replace it fast. Does the ranch hand help? They do, the ranch hand does help. Um, the ranch hand does help. I think 40 by 30, they're all wide lots though. That one's 50 by 40. This is 40 by 30, but it's like horizontal. So that kind of throws off the, the vibes. What about the graves? Oh, there's plenty of room for the graves. Don't worry. Um, there is plenty, plenty of room for the graves. I do like the area surrounding this lot a bit better. Um, oh. We could potentially do it like this and then have like a lot of side yard. Um. Instead, we could like split it up and have yard over here. Not the cute old gay couple. Oh, oh, if it makes you feel better in my save, they're so dead. Like in, in the save that we're playing on right now, they've been dead for like years. We're in the 19th generation of, of my legacy. So <laughs> they're so dead, the, the old couple. Um, they're they are no longer with us at all. <laughs> so <laughs> the lighting's not as good on this lot. So that's part of the problem, I guess, but um it's kind of cute though. Um Okay. Should I have done it like this maybe instead? I kind of like the shape of that. I think that's kind of cool. This is the stone from the castle kit, yeah. This is the castle kit stone. Honey, thank you for the raid, and beloved, and Lottie, and Lily. Elsa, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. So, we do something like that, kind of. And then, you have to bring in a sim. Oh, I forgot about moving the sim back here. Oops, hold on. I have to move them again. 
Let's try. <laughs> Someone take my cart! I cannot buy the castle kit just for that stone. <laughs> oh yeah, you need to be real careful. It's tempting, but it's just one stone floor. Don't let it get to you, okay? I'm serious. Don't let it get to you like that. Um. Alright. Yeah, this almost makes more sense with the hedge being taller, too. I agree. I think this is better like this. I like it better being on the side, kinda. I think that's cool. Why is the house moved? Um, I decided that I might like this lot better. Is the full answer. <laughs> I just thought it might be better, so I'm trying it. Cannot connect conflicting block clusters. Oh my gosh. You are unbelievable, game. Just unbelievable. Um, okay. And then we could have some sort of side yard that goes like this. Oh my god. Where's the greenhouse? Oh, the greenhouse is gonna go over here. Um, I haven't really decided where exactly yet, but the greenhouse is gonna be like, sort of in this area. Um, something like that. Do I want to put the pathway all the way out? I don't know about that. I'll have to think about it. We could always try and put some plants in between them. Or we could do none and have like a- we could do like a terrain paint path into it instead. Which might be good. Or like, yeah, like stepping stones, that kind of thing. Yeah, 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 that's better. Okay. Um. Oops. Two, three, four. That's a decent size for the yard, right? And then we can have all the graves here in the front, kind of spaced out through everything. Um. Actually, Kayla, the Tinkers and the Greenbergs, it, it's not just one household, it's two. Um, they're, the Tinkers are the ones, you know Tina Tinker? She's like, they're younger, and then the Greenbergs are Knox's parents. There's two lesbian couples in the eco-lifestyle world. Um, okay, let me see about the greenhouse kit again so I can put this out. Very nice. Um... And then maybe we could put the roof back, take two. Sure. There's a blue and a green car. Oh, there is a blue and a green car over there. <laughs> That's funny. Green gen for moss, blue for the kids. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about it like that. That's actually really cute. I like that. See, this lot is perfect. I really, really love that. What am I gonna do when I finish Not So Berry? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We shall see. Greenhouse Haven. Put the green up there. All right, take two with the greenhouse. It is officially fixed. And it looks kind of cool back there. Although I'm feeling as though maybe I should have put, like maybe the stone should have continued out this way and the, little arch should be like over here. Or maybe it should be like that instead. I don't know. I think that's nice. I like how it's kind of long still. I don't know. Maybe? I think it's better this way. Okay, let's keep it and see what happens. Give it a try. Um, all right, Meg and Kat and Jem and Curly, thank you for the subs. Greenhouse Haven mossy floor. That's, we're using the uh, mossy floor from the castle kit actually on this one is what we've been putting around. Um, oh, that's what that is. I was wondering what the shadow was from. <laughs> 
I was sat here trying to figure out what that was. That makes sense now, okay. I say that we try and have this have like a little archway to it too. Cause we could have like a cute windy path that goes up to that area. I wonder if it's worth it for us to try and close in. Oh no, it's not worth it. Let's not close in the front yard. I just got done saying that I wanna have the graves. So if we're gonna have the graves in the front yard, we shouldn't close it in. That would be bad. It would it would limit our, our space for the graves if we if we build a fence. We also want to have a pond, so maybe I could do that over here. Am I thinking terrain pond or just the shark pond? Well, the problem is we need to have both. Um, but it would be cool to have a real pond and then maybe put the shark pond like, I don't know, what if I scooted the whole thing over just a smidge and had the shark pond like back here, hidden behind some trees. And then we had like a, a real terrain tools pond in the front somehow. Oh my God, sorry. I put it up instead of down. That scared me. <laughs> I was like, what happened? This one's good because you could technically fish in here if you really wanted to. Looks like an egg. I don't like it. I always feel like I'm kind of bad at doing terrain manipulation with my pawns. That's close to the edge of the lot. That's good. That's good. We make it kind of mossy as well. I wish that it was a bit taller, but then it gets kind of... I don't know. Once I get some terrain stuff and some plants in, it'll look better. Okay. Also, hi, Kayla. <laughs> yeah, ponds can also have frogs. That's good, because that means that we can get um, some frogs to decorate the house with. That'll be nice. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna try and put a decent number of rocks and like plants and stuff to fill this in. Um, I don't really know if those are good or not, but yikes on that. I'm not sure if that's good or not. That's lower, so it like touches the bottom of the water a bit more, which is probably for the best. Hmm. No, I'm gonna come back to that. You guys, we're gonna be here for a while with the landscaping. <laughs> um. Okay, let's see. Baby dot show live edit objects. Debug. All right, you love the vibes, do you? I'm glad, that makes me feel really good about this. <laughs> I want people to like the vibes. I'm still not sure if I wanna do that, but there's potential for like a little stone, stepping stone pathway. Otherwise I might do it with dirt or something, we'll see. But what I wanted to do next was get some of the cottage living Landscaping. Is today landscaping and tomorrow inside? Um, that's kind of usually how it goes. Sometimes I jump around a little bit more than that. So I don't want to like say with absolute certainty that we're going to landscape all today and then do the inside all tomorrow. But that is, it, it seems to be the pattern that I follow a lot of the time, yes. <laughs> uh, but that, we might do it differently. I don't know. It depends what I'm feeling inspired by. Um, Okay. Oh, we're gonna have some cute stuff like this that we can add in too. Let me like save myself a pile of those so I can use them outside more. Um, okay. I'm thinking, yikes. These trees, the lighting on this lot is pretty bad. It makes it hard to build here. Cause it's like always so shadowy, but. 
It's okay. Um, where am I planning on putting the graves? Oh, we're gonna fill the whole front yard with them, kinda. So it'll it'll probably fill in like most of this area. We'll have we'll leave like a pathway, and then we'll fill graves in on both sides of it and over here. Like the whole front yard basically is gonna be the graves. <laughs> um. Okay. Evening light so we can see better. I want to get some more trees. Grave garden. Yes, perfect. If you've never been to our streams before, they're probably sat here like, what, are, what is she talking about? Graves? What is like, what is she, what does that mean? <laughs> um, in this, I have a collection of like, and I'm not joking. I have a collection of, of close to like 300 graves in this safe. 279 is the exact number. Um, and I'm so dead serious about that. <laughs> Literally dead serious. <laughs> um, okay, maybe... I think it might be cute if we had another small tree. I kind of like the idea of like something along those lines. That's basically a at that point, it's like a big bush, more so than a small tree. But I kind of like the vibes of that. Perhaps. And then, um, can I scoot it back at all? Maybe just a smidge? Don't delete my tree, don't delete my tree. Okay, we're fine. That is okay. Obsessed with that tree? Yeah, I like this tree too. I think it's really nice. Um, okay, so... Couple of concepts would be to do like that sort of path. And it would be kind of windy to get up here. And I would like wind it through like that somehow. Obviously I'd do a better job than that. Um, but there's like that concept. Or we could do like dirt. Realistically, I probably shouldn't do the terrain paint right now. Um, but I, I need to have terrain paint so I can finish landscaping it, so. It's like we can't do the outside until we have the terrain paint, but you don't want to do terrain paint if it's going to delete itself. So where does that leave us? <laughs> Nowhere good, that's for sure. Um, one, two, three. I'm going to get rid of the whole foundation so I can get some more landscaping in, I think. Um, doing the inside? Well, I mean, yeah, doing the inside is what we would have to do if we didn't want to do the outside right now with the, with the terrain paint bugs, but I, I like to get further with the outside than this before I start the inside, usually. Um, the inside is like a whole, whole thing, you know? Um, you like the little stones? Yeah, the little stones are cute. But I'm worried that it's gonna be like too much. So I don't really know. I think dirt would match better. Yeah, the dirt kind of gives the, it, it fits with the Shrek vibes. The idea of doing dirt to fill in a lot of this. <laughs> and I mean that in a, in a good way, by the way, when I say Shrek vibes, I really mean that in like the best way possible. Um, so it might be good if we had Um, can you please, like, really angle yourself better than this? I don't know. Give us all the Shrek. See, I'm glad that you all agree. <laughs> Shrek is what I want with this. Okay, uh-oh. You come this way, we get some more bushes. I'm really thinking that we'll do like a lot, a lot of bushes on the outside. Like just heavy on the greenery with this house. I'm wondering if maybe I should do, if we're gonna have these bushes, maybe it would be better to have like the ones from, I don't know, like horse ranch. It's just like a different shade of green than this, but maybe that's a good thing. 
that it's a different shade of green. And it's nice that it has the flowers, I think, on this part in particular, because it gives us some more to look at. Why don't you have a sim name Shrek? We talked about it. We almost had a sim name Shrek, but <laughs> we decided the kids names are Moss, Algae, and Pickle instead. Um, so close to Shrek, but not quite. Close, but not quite. If we're doing Shrek vibes, we have to have a horse named Donkey. <laughs> Okay, I think the horse thing, it's- I think it's too late for us, but that would have been funny. That would have been really funny. Can we name a pet Shrek? Yeah, I'm down for that. We can get it. Well, the problem is, we already have a cat named Broccoli, and we're not getting another dog because we already have Pulp, and Elphaba, our soon-to-be wife, she's gonna be bringing her cat named Tofu with her, when she moves in. So that kinda, it kinda complicates things for us a little bit. You know? Another rat it is! I mean, it might have to be. We may have to get a rat instead. We can stop, we, we're on like Allen number 13. We could always uh, stop with the Allen thing and then Name the, the next rat Shrek. That could be an idea. <laughs> when you say these sorts of things out loud, just, I feel so ridiculous. <laughs> the way that I like have to explain and talk about this stuff, I'm like, oh, we could stop naming all of our 13 rats Alan, and we could name them Shrek instead. But we're long past the, the Barbie generation, so. It, it's okay if we move on from the Allen thing, I think. Barbie's been dead for a while. Barbie's kid's dead now, too, so. Okay, I wanna put a tree there, I think. I like how the hydrangeas look. I'm gonna try and mix and match with some other flowers. I'm also gonna stack up a bunch of these so I can steal them for later. Um, Okay, I think um, we can try and just get a bunch of pretty plants around the sides of things too. Could always get some of these like kind of by the pond, I don't know. Cow plant would look nice. Oh, we do have a cow plant. It's still, well, it's still growing, but we do have a cow plant. So we could name the cow plant Shrek. Maybe that will, maybe that will do it for us. Maybe that's what we need because it's a pet that I'm going to try really hard not to kill. <laughs> Unlike the rats. And that way we can keep all the pets that we already have and not have to worry about anything. We haven't named the cow plant yet because it's only a baby, so. Okay, I think you're onto something. We'll call the cow plant Shrek. Oh, I'm gonna need to get all my mushrooms too. Oh, this landscaping is gonna be a curse. I may want to go in and get myself some stuff from Horse Ranch too. To, to like continue on with this all. Cause Horse Ranch has some good like little bushes and various greenery that we can try and fit in. That's good. Does it take long to, to collect everything? Oh, it's gonna take us a while. When we actually move, um, I'm not building this in that save right now, um, but when we actually do move into the new house, it's gonna take us ages to get all of our stuff and go through the whole moving process. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's a lot, as you can maybe imagine, the moving process with everything. Mushrooms, what are those from? Oh, it's Debug Cottage Living, the mushrooms. Um, Mirai and Succulent and Ginger and Danny and Dark and Stormy, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll do it on stream. We'll do it on stream when we actually uh, are ready to move, like once the house is built and we've got everything organized and stuff. Um, we will do that on stream. Horse Ranch. Okay. 
I am thinking that, I don't know, I'm kind of wondering if I should use like this to get another shade of green, but probably not. I'm just thinking different than normal. I want to have most of the plants be bushes. Um, I think that that's like the best that we can do for the green generation, you know? Like, I think that um, even if we have more bushes than I normally would do, I think it's like good. Aren't there green hydrangeas? No, there's not green on these. Um, but I think that the creamy color is okay. I think the creamy color is fine. Um, we should get some like ferns and some of the other, you know what could be good actually? This guy. Cause that is like very big and it's very interesting. It's like a, it almost is like a flower, but it's a bush. So it fits with all of the greenery that we need. I actually really like that. I think that's perfect. We may have to get a few extra things to put in, but. Come here, little friend. And then we can maybe try and mix and match a few other little ferns and various such things around the place. Um, maybe I'll put you over there to like end it. I don't know. Okay. Little fern guy. Yeah, this needs a, it needs something else big, I fear, over there. Not really sure what. What is Polly doing there? She's evil? Well, it's not actually Polly. It's just a random alien, um, but I did name her Polly. So. <laughs> Uh, she's there as a test sim, and it's funny because she is also the person who killed our mom, <laughs> kind of. Um, but it's, I don't know, I think it's kind of funny that she's the test sim of all people for that reason. Okay, I really like the green landscaping. I think that's really beautiful. So we need to get some other plants. I need like something that could go in there. That part's probably okay. And then something to go in here. So. It's okay if they're like really layered, I think, right? Oh, that's good. Maybe size that down and then like rotate it just a smidge. Okay, maybe I take one of these and I put it in the empty space. It's swampy. No, we haven't done the inside yet, no. <laughs> we still have to do the interior, we haven't done it yet. We're focusing on the exterior right now. And then imagine once all my graves are in there, it's gonna be fantastic. So good. Okay. Do we feel okay about the exterior then? Fairy lights? Yeah, we'll definitely add fairy lights in. No questions about that. That's for sure gonna happen. No need to worry there. Um, reminds me of, reminds you of my green Animal Crossing island. That actually makes my day that you said that. I'm really glad that you think that because I, I love her. She's gone, but I love her. Fireflies? Oh yeah, we should definitely put some stuff like that in. That'll be cute too. Um, good call. I wanna get some more debug. Maybe a tree right here. <laughs> Imagine when all my graves are here. It's gonna be fantastic. I could only ever hear this on a Lil Simsy stream. I know, I know. When I when I say these things, it really does. It must sound terrible. There's probably a lot of people who are today's their first stream and they're just sat here like Huh. <laughs> do I do I stick around? Why do they keep talking about that? <laughs> Don't worry. It's fine. 
Okay. I want a tree unless I scroll past them. Maybe like, but you'll soon see, don't worry. <laughs> we'll show you once we're ready to move. Okay, another tree I think is good for this. Um, you can scoot it in right there and then I'll put some plants with it, probably. Weeping Willow, oh, you want me to get a bigger tree? I was thinking about going a little bit smaller. Um, the willow tree would like cover a lot of our, I guess we could angle it the opposite way. Do you think it's okay right there? I mean, that's where I want it to be is in that space. I think that those trees look kind of weird next to each other, but maybe if I, Oh, oh, you know what else we need? Hold on, put all of these on here just so I can save them for a bit. Cause I had those down to save them so I don't have to dig through debug later. We need to get the pond from Get Famous. And maybe I could make her smaller, this tree, so it's not as bad. But I need the Get Famous pond cause that's a necessity for our save. I know we already have a pond, but that pond doesn't have any sharks in it. So I need to get that. I'm jealous of moss, I want to live here. I'm glad you think so. That's good. Where are you, Shark Pond? Here we go, uh-oh. She takes up a lot of room, chat. She takes up a lot of room. It's okay, we can scoot it right up against the tree and up against the wall. It also has, to my dismay, not a lot of greenery. It has like the pink flowers. I wonder if I could try to hide those at all. Probably not. Um, I also want to get, we had a, a gate before and then we switched lots. So I ended up deleting it, but we can put the gate like over there. Which one was I using? Oh, I think it was that color. Okay. Um, <laughs> Surf, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, it's good to see you. We are currently building a very green cottage for my uh, not so very challenge. <laughs> it's a little chaotic, but in a fun way. Maybe a wishing well? Oh, that would be cool. We can try and put a wishing well. I like the vibes of that. Good idea. Okay, that's all scooted nicely. I'm gonna get some landscaping in this area. Um, stepping stones to the pond. Yeah, I'm kind of, I think I'm kind of leaning towards that too. That's kind of what we have in our house right now. The one that we're living in at the moment that we haven't moved out of yet. Um, it's like some stepping stones that go out to it. Um, this is the angle. It being angled like this would be better because that's like where they get into it a bit more. Um, so maybe I could take... Yeah, I don't know if it still is functional like this. I'm literally trying right now everything in my power to cover those pink flowers because the pink does not match. Um, what was I gonna get? Oh, cottage living. I want like one of these trees, I think. Have Polly test? We do have Polly here. <laughs> we can, we can find out if it'll work. Um, so that'll be good. Oh, you can't put it too close. It won't allow me to scoot it much more than that. Do you think I could just leave it like that and like only look at it zoomed out so you can't really tell? Polly, come here. Come here. Go away. Oh, she's fine. The game's not fine. It's because of the pop-up, not because of Polly. Um, it's, it's covered up for the most part. And that's all that matters to me, I think. It's just that it's mostly covered. So we can make do with that. 
I think. Maybe I could get a debug fence or something with the darker stones match better. I don't know. They come in like the beige color. The beige is probably better now that we've done this, but you left her in there. Yeah. <laughs> People keep asking who the alien is. This way I don't have to see her. She's, she's, uh, I'm storing her in the pond. <laughs> She's gonna be swimming in there for a while. I only put fish though, I didn't put sharks, so she should be glad. Um, okay, here's my new plan. I'm building myself a custom little hedge, and I'm gonna fill this all with the debug stepping stones. Although, might actually not be horrible if I put the literal stones in. Oh, now Polly's out of there. I don't know if you could put this on top of flooring. Oh, you can. Oh. Oh. Do you think it's okay if I continue this out this way then? I wish I could have this like centered a bit more. I'll put Polly back in, yeah, don't worry. Hold on, I need to move that just so I can get the rest of the fence placed. Um, we'll have to delete probably like all of those pieces. Maybe delete those pieces too. Cause then I shall custom place them underneath it a bit better. I mean, it's okay if you can see a little bit of it. I don't really mind, but. Um, no, you can't alt place fence gates. I know, it's really weird. You would think that you can, um, but no, the fence gates cannot be alt placed like doors can. It's quite strange, because you really would assume that you could do that, but no, they're stuck. Um, you can get the quarter tiles, the little triangle pieces of flooring, by pressing Control F, um, if you need to. That's what I was doing just then. Um, so, okay. I like that. We've got like a little private setup for our for our pond. I shall use some of these to help fill in more of the empty space then. Oh, that's so good. I actually really like that a lot. Um, I'll probably put some of that like over this way, maybe add a bench by the pond. Oh yeah, we'll put some furniture out there. I don't really know what kind of furniture I'm gonna use yet. I might hold off until we are um, like more on the furnishing stage of this build before I do that, but. We will get some furniture in the pond too, or by the pond or whatever. Um, okay, something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Maybe I steal this thing. Okay. Cute, very cute. You know what we could also do? Because uh, one of our Sims is a spellcaster, she could maybe have like a cauldron out here. That's kind of fun, like cool energy. And no, these are just from cats and dogs. Um, they're at one of the cats and dogs landscaping pieces. It's kind of a gray color, grayish, bluish green in the default swatch, which maybe is why you haven't noticed it. But um, no, they're just in cats and dogs. They're not even from debug. They're just in the pack. <laughs> I think that's a good spot for a cauldron. I agree, I think that's cool. So that works pretty nicely. Um, we'll get some more plants over this way. All right. Please put lawn chairs by the pond. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could maybe. Um, 
so the last thing we need to do is landscape in this section and then landscape around the pond. Um, so we need to make sure that we've got enough to fill it all up. This area I'm picturing, so part of why I left this like just grass, I'm picturing this section becoming like a, um, an area for the kids, like, I don't know, swing set, uh, that kind of stuff in, in this little space, in this green grass fenced in fence area. Um, and then we'll have, I don't know, there's not really a lot of room for other stuff, but um, that's what I'm picturing at least. Oh, you know what I should use? I want the cottage living, I want this tree thing. A llama needs to go somewhere. You want me to put a llama? Like a literal llama or the hedge llama? Because I have seen some people talking about the hedge ones, but do you mean like literally a llama or do you just mean the hedge item? Because that's two different things. I can give the hedge llama a try. I don't know about the real life llama. I'm not so set on that one. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I can leave some space for a hedge llama then. If you so insist. I can probably put it like here. Where are you, Hedge Llama? It's subtle. Yeah, the problem with the real llamas is they need a barn, but the Hedge Llama just needs space. I like it. <laughs> if we're gonna landscape with everything green everywhere, this is probably the time to do it. So, I think it's good. All right, Cottage Living again. Let me see if I can find myself some more like, I want the little debug mushrooms because I'm going to go through and add those in a few places. And then we should be, for the most part, finished with the landscaping. I have to do terrain paint, but I'm going to wait on that. You can't trust this game, so you got to do terrain paint last. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll delete all of your hard work. Trust us. We've all learned that the hard way. <laughs> okay. Um... Let me, let me raise you up just a smidge. I like the mushrooms. Those are cool. They're small enough that they fit kind of well in these like little areas that we have left over kind of, you know? And it fits with like the almost slightly witchy vibe because she's going to be a spellcaster. Okay. You would live here? That's good, I'm glad. <laughs> this place is cool, I like it. It's fun how like drastically different it is from the last house too. I think that's always kind of exciting when we have these like, I don't know, real stark contrast between the generation builds. <laughs> um, get you over there. That's kind of floating just a bit, but it's okay. Don't look too close at it. Good. Do I also stream on YouTube? I don't live stream on YouTube, but I post videos on YouTube every day. Um, so I, I do both YouTube and Twitch, but I don't like usually stream on YouTube. I only stream here. Um, okay. So, I think that's pretty good for now. I'm gonna put the foundation back now. Um, yeah, and now the foundation color, the fact that it was like slightly off, totally barely matters. You can only see it in a couple spots and like it, it blends in nicely, so. That's not dark enough. That's not dark enough either. Maybe I could use that inside though. I don't understand why this staircase doesn't come in like the same swatches as 
all of the wood from cottage living, but who knows, whatever game. I want to get, that is, is that black or is that match? I think that matches. It's hard to tell sometimes with the lighting being this weird. That matches. Okay, and then I'll delete the undersides and then we save and the exterior is for the most part complete. What happened to the basement? What do you mean? There's still a basement. It is right gone. Oh, when I got rid of the foundation, it deleted the basement. No, you're right, there's no basement. <laughs> you are right, the basement did in fact delete itself. <laughs> um, so I wanna have the staircase be like this. That's because of the foundation though, I'm pretty sure. I got rid of it and then it ruined everything. Okay, it is right gone. <laughs> yep, I thought it was there. I thought that, I thought, I don't know. I was wrong though, I thought wrong. Um, okay, I am thinking in our little basement, I kind of had it like that. We can always adjust the size of that again. Oh, no, too big. Um, the little basement is going to be, what did you put in my inventory? My plant? Oh my God. I hate you for that. Hold on. Please hold. Is two too much? No, two is fine. Then this can come out a little bit too. Okay. So that's gonna be our spell casting room in the basement. Kind of like that. Okay, <laughs> good. Uh, Drunken and Dad and Spart and Ferret and Regular and Jordy, thank you for the subs. Um, and then we've got the whole layout ready. I think that it fills up the lot really nicely and we've got plenty of room for all the graves in the front yard. So this actually seems like a really good use of the space, I would say. Um, I want to now um, maybe we start doing the bathrooms because those excite me the least just so we can have them done. I can try and do something actually interesting with the bathrooms too. I swear I'll try and be cool with the bathrooms this time around. You mark my words, I'm gonna make it cool. I forgot that this light comes in green. <laughs> Rock mailbox, oh, we'll, we'll change the mailbox later. I'm not sure where to put the mailbox yet um, cause I'm not really certain on how the terrain paint is gonna be laid out. So I might hold off on doing the mailbox until we know, oh my God. I might hold off on doing the mailbox until we know like where the terrain's all gonna be, um, which we're gonna do the terrain paint last because as many of us know, The Sims likes to delete your terrain paint. So, <laughs> Haley actually ate my threesome. I actually almost kind of like that. I'm not sure though. It kind of depends what we want to do with the walls. Because there are things that could work. There's even like this, this is new. That could totally work, you know, it doesn't really have that same cottagey vibe to it, but um, we could do a different tile in the two bathrooms as well. It doesn't have to be the same thing twice. Do any of these, oh, you know what might be good? Didn't they add more swatches? This, okay, this has more swatches. That might be a nice floor tile for the downstairs bathroom. Um, and then I'll probably use cheap stuff in here just for now, because we can always add to it, but it's probably best to have like relatively affordable stuff in the bathroom at first. I love that. That is so good. Will this be like cap slot green or normal green? Um, I would say that it will be both. 
it will be both caps lock green and normal green. I don't know if that's what you wanted to hear, but that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> it'll be green and it'll be green. You know, it's not going to be like lime green everywhere. If that's what you're worried about. That's so pretty. I, I really like that. Maybe I try and scoot this back so that we can have any mirror a little bit easier. That shower is from the rent pack, right? Yeah, that's really nice. I didn't realize how many green swatches it had. Um, I don't like that one. Maybe like, this might be okay. Simple. They are different shades of gold. And that does make me feel kind of sad. Is that one better? What's the difference? Oh, it's darker. Maybe the darker one's better. Um, Okay. And then we can try and put like green. <laughs> Different shades of gold. Welcome to The Sims 4. Yeah, seriously. The way there's just like a million different colors of gold and they don't even match that well. I feel like when people talk about doing mixed metals in rooms, they're usually talking about like literal mixing of metals, not the same metal in different colors. <laughs> that, is, that always bothers me about this game. I always feel like it's not what I'm hoping for out of it. I don't know. It's okay. That's like a different, is that the same shade of green? Cause that's actually kind of good then. Maybe I'll put the cabinet on this wall to help fill it in. So just you are the towel racks huge? No, I think so too. The towel racks are really big. Um, okay, I want to get the greenhouse kit. Put a little plant on that. And maybe there could be like a shelf of some sort. Yikes. Small shelf. And then I go for the second biggest one. I'm thinking it would be fun if we had, like, some clutter on the shelf. I think that this will still function. May have to get the alien to come check it out. You'd run into that? Yeah, it is a little, um... It's a little tight, maybe. Oh, you know what we should do? Hold on. You can place things on toilets? Yes, it's kind of a recent addition. Um, they had like a whole update where they added a bunch of slots to a bunch of stuff in the bathrooms. They added like more slots to the to the sinks. They added a bunch of stuff like that. Um, and ever since then, we've been able to place stuff on toilets. So it is it is a relatively new addition to the game, but uh, it's kind of nice. Oops, scoot down ever so slightly. I want to get a candle. Not base game. More slots for dirty dishes. Yeah, that's what the Sims were excited about. <laughs> um, okay, I want to get the bathroom clutter kit. Nope, bathroom not every day. Because I want this. I may have to move the shelf, but that's okay. And you. Does the candle come in green? No, but it comes in brown, and I guess that's fine. Is there anything else that might be good for the... Wrong shelf. 
Why can't I get this to change the color on that? There we go. It does have green, but maybe I'll just do something like this, the little perfume toiletry looking stuff. Oh my gosh. And lower slightly. Okay. Bathroom decor. Stunning, beautiful, I like it. Seems realistic to me too. I mean, it's maybe, that's kind of like, perhaps a little bit further back than it needs to be, but. Do you slot to that? Can I, oh, hold on. We'll try again. Down just a smidge. Okay, there we go, bathroom. <laughs> Green and beautiful and perfect. It does need probably a hand towel. Only problem is the hand towels, not really, like that's not the right shade of green or the right, the right shade of uh, gold, sorry. It's a horrible color gold. This one has a silver ring to it, which also is not right. So, you know what I might get is light switches. I don't really usually add those. They need to give us outlets. Can there be a light switch? Oh, we're on the same wavelength, me and you. <laughs> exact same time we thought of that too. That's kind of funny. Um, towels on the wooden rack. Yeah, we were looking at those first. Um, do you think if I sized it down, it would be okay, like a hand towel? Cause this one does come in green. Do you think that like could pass as a, I guess it does kind of pass as a hand towel. And I like how the wood matches that. But yeah, it'd be cool if we had outlets. I think that would be a fun little thing. Obviously it would just, it wouldn't actually do anything. It would be fake, but I think it would be a nice touch to have them. What pack is a tile from? This is from the Home Chef Hustle pack. And this is actually base game, believe it or not. Um, it's this one, which maybe you've seen before, but they added some new swatches to it when Horse Ranch came out. Um, I might use this same color scheme in the bathroom upstairs, cause I quite, I quite like it, but I can do a different one in this bathroom. Um, how do you get rid of the grid? Oh, if you press G, you can turn it on and off. Um, it can be, it's helpful because you don't always want it. It can be distracting at times, but like other times you might want it so you can see better. Um, but yeah, you can turn the grid on and off by pressing G. Um, let me see the linoleum. I don't know if I like that. Can I show the outside? Yeah, this is what it looks like on the outside. We haven't done terrain paint yet, obviously, but it's, um, Cute, quaint, swampy cottage. Um, okay, so this is what Sims looks like when someone is doing it properly. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, a lot of people play The Sims and they uh, play a little bit more chaotically. But um, I'm building this house and when I finish, I'm gonna move in my 287 graves to put in the whole front yard, so. <laughs> 279, oops, I gave the wrong number, sorry, I'm a liar. Do you guys like this color in this tile? I hate to say it, but I, I actually like this one way better. I wonder if we could use it again and make it work still. I could do like the, the gold accents. Um, I think this will be for, for the best. Yes. Lime green tile. That is what Moss has in their bedroom right now. They have lime green tile in their um, bedroom at home. <laughs> in their childhood home, but. <laughs> okay. I think that that is actually quite Nice. Maybe we do... Oh, maybe I should have a separate... T 
tub and shower. Because you can get some really nice ones. We could have like a fancy tub. Like we could do something like that and that would be pretty to have. I actually like that one. Of course it's a different color green than this, but it is what it is. Um, maybe I could have the shower tucked away in this corner then. Um, can you design your house from the bottom up? You just put your sims in a room and roof the door to see, but this is hitting all the digital dollhouse vibes you crave. <laughs> yeah, you can, um, you can get really creative with your sims builds. Uh, you can do a lot. I mean, it can be kind of hard, I guess, if you're not used to it. Um, but you can basically do anything. Green bathtub, countertop. I don't know. I don't know if I want to have a wooden bathtub. Is there one that has green and gold accents on it? Oh my god. That one comes in green? I didn't even know. That one's- okay, that's really good then. That's really good. Okay. I think the toilet is still fine where it is. I guess I could probably scoot it back to be touching the, like slotting again or whatever. Okay. Maybe we get a bath mat then. You wanna build your new apartment complex? You should, it's fun to build real life stuff. It can be kind of frustrating when, especially if you like live there, so you know the place really well, because you can't really achieve real life stuff like exactly in game because the scale is off. So I, I often find myself getting frustrated when I try and build real things because it doesn't like work how I want it to, <laughs> you know? Um, but you could, you should try to build your apartment complex. That would be, I think you'd have a lot of fun with that if you tried to do it. Um, Okay, I think something kind of green. That one doesn't really match the tile, I don't think. Oh, we have to use this somewhere too. <laughs> something kind of green and something kind of cottagey, but preferably not too expensive. <laughs> oh no, the list is long of things that we need it to be. Um, this is weird in the bathroom, yeah? You know, I guess we could do a shelf again, if we really wanted to. And we could put some clutter there, and that might be for the best. It might be a better way of using the space. Theoretically, could you build a castle? <laughs> um, there was a castle pack that came out like a couple days ago, last week. Um, so I built this castle last week, I built this small castle last week, I built this fairy castle last week. Um, so to answer your question, yes, The Sims built this and I furnished it last week. So we have some good news for you. <laughs> there, there is a literally last week, I mean, you can see um, it's from the 30th, but they, they just had a castle pack come out. Okay. Um fake hamper under the shelf to fill space. I guess we could do that too. The hamper is always a nice, I don't want a real one because I'm not trying to do laundry, but we can get the fake one and then put a plant next to it. Oh, I think that's lovely. You're making a castle for Moss's house? Oh no, I'm not building a castle today. Um, we're speaking more in general terms about, about castles right now. Um, no castles today, unfortunately. Not at the moment. Um, oh, I guess, why am I doing it like this? Just get the other shelf and raise this stuff up. Castle would be a great vacation rental. That is fun. It would be cool to stay in a castle on vacation with your Sims. That's the kind of thing that is like exactly what you want the castle pack for. It's just like those special occasion type of things. Um, Okay, I wanna get perhaps a bookshelf. I don't know, it might be kind of weird to have books in your bathroom, but 
Whatever. <laughs> no, you can't split the apartments with the rent pack, unfortunately. The, um... So you can only use the rent pack on lots that uh, are not stuck. So when I say that, you know how, like, um... To give an example, like the hospital lot from get to work, you can't change that to not be a hospital. It has to be a hospital. Um, you couldn't build apartments there. So you can't build apartments on like the bluffs and get together. You can't build apartments on um, like the Strangerville lab lot. And and those apartments in San Maishuno and City Living, you can't change the lot type of those. You can't like turn it into a bar. So therefore you can't build rentals there. You can't like split them up in half, which doesn't bother me that much. I didn't really expect to be able to do that. So I don't really mind that we can't. Um, I am sad that you can't build them on the penthouses and you can't do it on the beachfront lots either for some reason in Sulani, which I don't really get. But the apartments themselves, I get that we can't split up the existing San Maishuno apartments. Um, I could see how that might be weird if you could do that. Um, so I'm not too bothered with that in particular. All right, I'm giving Moss some soap. That's nice. Okay. Moss's bathroom. It would be nice to have a better ceiling light, but I guess that one comes in gold. And we can just use that one over there to lighten up the shower. Size it way down, how about that? Okay. Set color and intensity, all lights, more, oh. There we go, <laughs> sorry. Okay, um, I think, oh, uh-oh, don't clip. Now we have that, should we just do a tub upstairs or should there be a shower in here too? I don't really, I don't want to have the, I guess the door could be in the corner. Maybe it's fine. Is Polly the weird dog? Oh no, Polly uh, is, is the alien that I'm using as a test sim right now. The weird dog is Pulp. That is confusing though. That is confusing. <laughs> uh, Polly is, uh, is an alien. <laughs> The weird dog that you speak of, uh, you see that in chat, that weird emote? That's the one. This is a massive downsize from our current house. I'm actually kind of excited to have a smaller house. This is, it's not even a small house necessarily, but this is like more the size of Sims house that I like to live in. Um, I think the house that my Sims have right now is too big. So I'm kind of excited to have this. Um, Okay. You make that green. I might give them in this part. Oh, we need to find a spot for the cat's litter box too. Maybe I'll just put it in the hallway. I don't know. Um. Can't scoot that much farther. Maybe I'll just size it down and then put it. I don't know. I don't know, I don't like that. I don't really wanna put a shelf because I'm worried about it taking up too much space. Oh, what about you? Oh, that one's smaller and it has like green accents. Oh, and you can scoot it way back because it's underneath the roof line. Oh, that's perfect, okay. There you go. Um. Something like that. Maybe I could get the towel rack that I almost used in here. Okay. Cat litter box in the study. Yeah, that's also a good idea. We'll find a spot for it. We are gonna have two cats, so we have to make sure we have a spot for the litter box, but. Oh wait, the basement. Oh, that makes more sense. That'll be easy, because we could put the litter box like just somewhere easy access down here for the cats. Um, and then keep it like that. Let me put it before I forget. Is 
That's perfect. It doesn't come in green though. And I want the laser one, so that's okay. I'll just use that one. Okay. And then that's our, this will be like our spell caster room. I don't know what that's gonna entail yet, but <laughs> that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> I'm wondering if in this room we should use that. We didn't use the castle wallpaper outside because we didn't like the color of the stone, but I wonder if we could make it work on the inside in this room, sort of on purpose. Oh, you know what we could do? That might be really fun. Bookcase door. I think that's the way. Do you have enough bedrooms that you need four? Oh, the fourth one is the office. So we have uh, the primary bedroom the office, and then our brother's room, our other brother's room. And then the brothers, when they move out, our kids will live in there. It's kind of the idea. Um, so we've got that space. And if we need to, we could always get an extra room in the basement or something. Um, but we've got space for the kids upstairs. Who's gonna be the spellcaster? Oh, Moss's uh, girlfriend is a spellcaster and we're gonna marry her and she'll move in. So, oh, I like the secret bookcase door in there. I'm living my dream right now. <laughs> okay, I need to get from laundry day. I'm thinking that I wanna have like, just a little hanging light. I wanna get the fake water heater and the fake, maybe I'll get a wall light instead so it's dark. I want the fake water heater. Where are you? Non-functional water heater. And then I want the fuse box non-functional fuse box. And then I want the decor box. Doesn't come in green, but that's okay. I'll put that down there. Is that a dungeon? No, it's for my spellcaster, but I can see why you would say that. It's not, it doesn't, it's not meant to be a dungeon. Oh, how about the sprinkler system? That might help us with our fire problem. You actually might be onto something there. That's good. Has a red and green swatch. Yeah, but it's very red. It doesn't really feel green. It has green on it, but it's, it's very Christmas and not like green, you know? I'm thinking we just leave this drywall. I don't think that we should paint the wall down there. I think it makes sense for it to just be drywall. I think we can just keep it like that. Um, so that'll be good probably. Okay, couple things that we need to do. I wanna have in here, I really like this. I think that's just really nice. So I wanna use the one from Cottage Living. Stairs, what here? We have stairs. Do I, are you asking if I need more? Um, and then I wanna get a fence. Something like, oh, this one does actually come with green accents. It's a way lighter toned wood though, is kind of the problem. But we can, uh, we can allow ourselves a lighter toned wood just to have the green accent for the green generation of Not So Berry. I say we only do it inside, not outside, but we can have the green stair. I think that's cute. Right? I like genuinely feel like that's pretty. Okay. Okay. Um, you're biased because you love green. I like green too. I think this this uh, is gonna be a fun generation for us to decorate for, because I really like the color green. <laughs> so, clipping, clipping. Um, I'll put the bed there so you won't see the clipping anymore. Okay. Um, do you want to start? Okay, so in this part also, this is the our little hallway. And I think that in this hallway, I kind of want to have, first of all, 
some of the green stuff is scary. But in this hallway, oh my god, we have to use this somewhere. Oh, wow. Should that be in the living room? Oh my goodness. I think that's really nice. Okay, living room, green. <laughs> and then everywhere else, also green. Just different kinds of green. Wow, green tigers is a lot. Um. <sighs> I'm getting intimidated. <laughs> by the amount of options. Okay, so this area, it can be simple. This room is gonna become very busy. So I'm warning you now, there's gonna be like a lot of stuff happening in here once we actually start furnishing it. No, not that one. Uh, and that is because this room is going to have my shelves and my decor in it. <laughs> so I'm gonna have like all of my collectibles on shelves on this back wall. So I'm kind of leaning towards keeping things a little bit simpler, just so that I can fit my shelves and not have it be too much. Is this your easiest not so very house so far color wise? Oh. I think, I, I'm gonna say yes, because I like green a lot. So I'm gonna say yes, it is the easiest one so far, just because I like green so much that it makes it kind of easy for me to, um, what are you doing? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Anyway, I like green a lot, so it makes it kind of easy for me to do. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Different thingies here. I'm gonna put all my collectibles. That's why I keep saying it, but why such a small kitchen? Oh, do you think this is the kitchen? No, this is the kitchen. It's not that small. Um, this is for my collectibles. So like my cine capsules, um, my trophies, all of that sort of stuff. That's what's gonna go in here. It's shelves for decor. Um, it's not the kitchen. It's like my display room, almost. Um, so it makes more sense when you think about it like that. It's our legacy challenge, so we've got a lot of stuff that we've had over the years. <laughs> I might get some photos, like family photos on this wall too. It is the display room, so this is a good opportunity. We have like wall decor that we can put on that wall. But yeah, this, it's gonna be quite simple in here cause it's just a hallway and it's made to display my stuff. Doesn't need to have too much more than that probably. It'll be very busy once it's got all the things on it. Snowy escape counters cause they're open shelf. I don't really like the snowy escape counters for it cause the stuff slots weird. It won't like display my items appropriately. I don't think. Um, did I throw away the horse poop? No, we'll bring it with us. We'll bring it with us. We don't, we still have the horse poop. It'll go on the shelf like it is at home. We're not currently in that save right now. Um, so I don't have any of my stuff with me that we'll be keeping. Um, oh, we should get like a more lime colored wallpaper. How about that? Hi, Shella, how are you? Um, oh, none of the green wallpapers are that, really. I don't know. Oh, that one is. Maybe that's okay, though. This has nice vibes, right? I think so. And then again, 
this is this is just my collectible hallway so it doesn't really matter that much like I'm overdoing it and really overthinking it I'll put the thermostat in here too all of the useful stuff can go in the hallway <laughs> Yeah, the snowy escape counters are good, but they're not so good for like my displays. I need this for all of the wide stuff for the displays. The snowy escape counters would be fun, but like the things kind of slot weird in there for shelving. Um, I don't know, it might be good. I'd have to see how it works when I start like actually putting the stuff in. But I worry that it's not gonna be good enough. And I kind of like the cabinets because it has like that sort of built in energy. You know what could be good actually is if we put wood behind it and tried to make it seem like it was a full-on built-in. That's cool, right? That's horizontal, that wood. I think I kind of like the plain, but I think that's nice. Right? I don't know. It's giving wet bar and rich grandparents house in a good way. <laughs> and you know what it's gonna have? Simi capsules. And like, frogs. <laughs> it's gonna be full of all my stuff. I literally have horse poop sitting on top of this shelf in the other house. I can show you what I'm talking about, so you can get the vibes. I'll even- I'll load into it so I can show you. Ours- in the other house, it's bigger though. So we're gonna have to try and like... Slow down our collection. Grandma could like frogs, maybe not the poop. Christine! Do you understand how messed up it is? For you to say, oh, grandma's gonna like this. Grandma's dead! Why would you even say that? <laughs> She's gone! <laughs> it's too soon! If you're new in my Not So Berry Challenge, um, my Sim's mom died of anger because she caught her husband cheating on her with an alien. So she's dead. And then the kids didn't want to see their dad because they blame him for their mother's death. So we've been raising ourselves. We're only teens. Um... Anyway, Moss is a young adult now. They just aged up yesterday. But. <laughs> Add columns or an arch for the complete built-in vibe. Yeah, if we did that and then put island counters, it'll fill in better. That'll be good. Who was mom again? It was Princess. Princess Peach. The Peach Gen Sim of Not So Berry. She's gone. <laughs> Come on, game show. Give us the house. I want to show the people my shelves. <laughs> okay, so the one that we have right now is a lot bigger, but I'll be able to fit it when I scoot things tight enough. But this is what we're doing. This vibe. Um, we'll be able to fit all of it because I can move some things to other rooms and stuff. Um, but we're trying to have space for our stuff basically, <laughs> um, is what we need. Okay, back to main menu. When did you do Strangerville? Oh, in the mint gen of Not So Berry. I've got the Strangerville trophy there, size down and everything. <laughs> so, Cat, Molly, Hunter, and Cassie, and Jazzy, thank you for the subs. It's all normal and then the horse poop, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was in the... In the original generation of Not So Berry, we had the Sim is a scientist, and she had a wife, and the wife did the Strangerville mystery hero story, and we lived in Strangerville. And then the wife got cloned, and then her clone killed her. So if you've heard me tell that story on stream, that's who did Strangerville. The one who got cloned. Her name was Bethany. The clone's name was also Bethany. 
<laughs> Whenever I explain my own save, I just- I- I think it's so fun. Watching everybody, like, get scared as well. Really exciting for me. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to build out, like, with- maybe with the columns from, like, get together. Because those are a little bit... Of course, it's a different wood color, but... It would be. Um, do it like that, probably. Scoot that down a little bit. And then we can put spandrels on top. I may want to raise that up. I don't know. We'll see. How we, we can always move this around depending on, like, what we end up putting in this, in our shelves, you know? We don't have to have it be, like, perfect right now. It just needs to be functional. Okay. So, something like that for our cute little built-in storage shelf setup. Add another level of shelves. I don't know if it'll fit them. We'll have to see. I'm gonna wait until I move my things here, because I don't really know how I'm gonna organize them. We can always move the shelves and, like, add extra shelves or whatever we end up needing to do. We can always do that once we actually are moving in and we know what we're trying to put in, you know? Um have enough money to furnish everything. Oh, I think we'll be fine. It's it's not that big of a house, really. We're coming from a way bigger house. We're downsizing, so I'm not too concerned about that the cost of everything. Shelves on the sides too. We could do that. We could potentially like uh wrap it around. It's going to make the columns look a bit weird. So I don't know if we're gonna end up doing this. This is more just like an idea for now, but if we end up needing extra space, we could wrap it around. I'll leave it, I'll leave it for now. Just again, until we actually move in, I don't remember what we're gonna need and like what we're gonna put there. So we'll just hold off until we actually start moving in and then add to it, I think is the plan. Um, what's on the other side of the room? Um, this is the kitchen and dining room. This is the living room in these areas. I'm thinking, what do you want to furnish first? Oh, also, I'm so sorry everyone, but I can't stay on stream late tonight because <laughs> it's drag race day. So I do have to end stream in like 10 minutes, just so you know. <laughs> we have to have time to cook dinner before drag race, so. Uh, Friday nights, you know, <laughs> during drag race season. <laughs> Fair enough, so you get it. You get it. Everybody understands. <laughs> no, don't worry, Christine. Dan already cleaned up the hummus he spilled, so it's fine. Ooh, weird. That one's further out. That kind of annoys me. Okay, maybe I'll start furnishing the dining room. Because once we figure out some of the rugs that we want to use, we'll be better off. Um, okay, I think that's interesting. I don't really want to use that one. Um, it's just interesting is all. <laughs> that's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, that's actually not too bad. But I don't know if I like it. I kind of want to have, like, yuck. The werewolf's rugs are too small. I also think that I want to have a different... I don't, again, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. But part of me is, like, you know, from the rent pack, we were looking at that... Like, greenish colored stone. I don't know. I don't know. It's a different vibe. So I'm still a little unsure of what I'm going for. Well, that's green. There is like green tablecloth tables too, but I, we want a bigger table. Oh, this one has green on the base. I forgot about that. Oh, that's perfect. This one 
with the green base. I think a couple of them have a green base. Oh, just that one? Okay, well the wood color's a bit off, but it's okay. Colors, green, maybe. Ooh. Oh, I wasn't really thinking about, maybe I'll do that, but not the green on the table. I wasn't really picturing doing that. I was thinking more like green fabric. But I'd not used that swatch of those chairs before. So it could be kind of cool. Oh, maybe I could scoot this over to be in line with the archway. I could potentially, I mean, you can't really tell from the outside, so I could scoot that over too. And then we could put like a cabinet set up. There's like a table from Horse Ranch. Like this. I don't like that color of it though. But something like that could be nice. Little cabinet, storage, hutch thing. I don't know. I'm not really obsessed with this rug. She's not really speaking to me, but it's okay. Put more display shelves. We could do another set of display shelves in here, <laughs> but probably not. I might put like a, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking just like some storage or something in there. Um, let me think about the kitchen cabinet color too. Oh, a bar. Oh my gosh, wait, a bar is actually a really good idea. Cause you can put a bar backwards in there and it will work. It is fine. If you put the bar like that, it's still functional. So then we can have people build the mixology skill. That's actually a really smart idea. We definitely should do that. Um, I don't know what bar I'll use yet. <laughs> kind of depends what kitchen cabinets we end up picking. That one looks like that, sort of, even though it's not the same thing. I don't like this rug. I think it's too big. Luxury party? Oh, let's use the glowing one. <laughs> wow, why didn't I think of that? That's the one. Okay, so we got a couple options. The obvious choice is like this sort of thing because it has the green. This is from uh, Cottage Living. It is a different wood color, but I think that we can just learn to live with that. At least that's kind of how I feel about it. I don't know what you're thinking, but... Um, I think the vampire's counters I use too often, so I'm kind of curious to try different ones that I use a little bit less often, but I don't know. Mismatched woods do feel, I think the mismatched woods feel okay for a house like this too. It's old, so it's fine. That's not good. Maybe I'll just use regular appliances. It would be nice if we had some like kind of expensive appliances. We've got enough money that we should be able to afford them. So the slightly darker color, what of this one? That's more of like a teal almost. I, I kind of want to embrace this color green. You know what I mean? I don't know if I want to use this flooring. I think the flooring is kind of ugly. But like, potentially in a good way. It's hard to say. If I don't do it now, I'll probably never use it. So that's kind of why I'm like, oh, maybe I'll try it. Even though, you know, it looks like that. <laughs> Gave your green shot a very modern house. Yeah, it's kind of fun how different they can end up being with the same challenge. Um, I know a lot of people went for kind of modern. <sighs> that simply won't do. That simply won't do. Okay. Um, that's like a minty color that Parenthood has. I don't really want that one. There is like 
these are two different shades of green, believe it or not, but these are the ones from the Country Kitchen Kit. And these have like some different styles to them, I guess you would say. But I don't know if they're good or not. Horse Ranch, ooh. The horse ranch green one, she is also, it matches the floor quite well, but it feels very minty to me, again, in a way that like, it, it's kind of giving mint gen of not so berry, more so than it's giving green gen, but I guess it depends how you decorate it. It's very rustic, um, and that's not really a bad thing. We can see what we can try and pair with it and what will go together, but. Neutral colors with lots of green accents. Yeah, I mean, going for like a more neutral vibe might make more sense, but it makes me sad to do that. The horse ranch counters do match the house, I think. They have that sort of like, Oh no. That looks like two different colors and they're the same color. So that's a problem. I'm not gonna forget, forget a trash can, you guys. We're gonna put it right here. It's okay. I've even left a space dedicated for the trash can on purpose. Think the kit ones were better? Yeah, I don't know. I'm really kind of unsure about this. Should use the vampire ones. I don't want to use the vampire ones because I use those so often. The vampire ones are like one of my favorite counters in the game. Um, so I don't really want to use the vampire ones. I'd rather use one that I don't use that often. I like the kit ones better too. Yeah, I don't know. It is very samey with the floor with these. Maybe shelves. I, I want to have, um, I want to have some sort of cabinetry to take out some of the wall space. I really don't like how lightly colored the cabinet or the countertop is on these, but I shall make it work. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Um... Ooh, how about this? You go like that. We'll put the like, this one over here above the stove. Of course it's doing that, that's no good. You try and slot them so that they're like, not so visibly different. Do you think it's a terrible problem if I do it like this and then you can tell that it's not? lined up straight to the edge. That's pretty terrible. I like how that looks above the stove though, like a lot. Um, maybe I could put that on that side then and I could just do another, ooh, maybe I could put like, oh. Okay, that's really annoying. You can't alt place that one. The end counter is this. The problem that I'm facing right now is that I'm using a lot of end counters and cabinetry or whatever, but I guess we could have some open shelving like that. Then it's even on either side of the stove. And then I don't really like that, but that's okay. If you delete the wall, you can all place the corner. Yeah, I don't really care to, to bother with it. It looks okay, I think. Oh, this is fine. I like it, I think. We'll get ourselves like a couple useful things like 
appliances and stuff. And we've got our cabinet layout. I've never combined these things before, so I don't know if it's good or not, but yeah, we'll put like some curtains on the window. I'll probably lower the window down too, because we can do that on this side of the house. We'll put some curtains on the window. We'll get like clutter in there. Um, I do have to get off stream here in a minute. Everyone in chat is literally telling me to leave. <laughs> Everyone in chat is like, go away, it's drag race time. Dry race isn't on until 8, it's only 7. But I usually, I shower after I get off stream, I have to make dinner. And then time flies before drag race starts, you know? <laughs> but I think that we've actually made a lot of progress today. This is going a lot faster than I thought it would. If any of you have watched my recent Not So Berry builds, like the Peach Gen one, it took me like 4 days. This one probably is only going to take me 2 days. I think we could definitely finish furnishing this tomorrow. Um, it seems like we have a lot left to do, but like realistically, half the battle is the planning, you know? And we've got the planning all figured out. So I don't think it should be too bad to actually furnish it. Um, and I really like how the outside looks. I think that the backyard is gonna be super cool. I'm gonna have like the kids playground stuff here. We'll have Elphaba's greenhouse right here. Um, oops. We'll have like some seating outside. We've got like our shark pond. <laughs> Um, I just think that's really fun. I like how the landscaping turned out too. I like how green everything is. It, it fits the green vibes. It's pretty good. Oh, we got to fix the pond too, but I just, I want to wait and do the terrain paint at the end. I'm so nervous that I'm going to spend all this time doing terrain paint and then it's going to delete itself. So we should be good to go. I'll be here at this time tomorrow. Um, so at four o'clock Eastern time tomorrow, it's currently seven o'clock Eastern time. So like three hours ago, but tomorrow, um, Three teenagers live here, yeah. <laughs> well, no, Moss just became a young adult. So Moss will have their own bedroom down here and their brothers will have these two rooms. And soon their brothers will age up and move out and we'll have kids that'll live in there. Our babies will stay in these bedrooms eventually. Um, and then this is gonna be Moss's office. So I like it. And then also our spellcaster is going to have a basement. Moss's girlfriend is a spellcaster, so she's going to have her room down there. It's like her office. I think it worked out nice. I'm liking it. I like these dark green chairs too. I haven't ever used that swatch, so that'll be kind of fun to try as well. All right. All right. Saying that, <laughs> let me go see who all is live. We'll find someone to raid. Uh, Wiggly and Comfy it's, and Steet. We got Chloe and Winifred and Sam and Sahira. Thank you for the subs. I really appreciate that. Um... And thanks for gaming with me tonight, everybody. I'm gonna try and wear a green shirt and make my lights green tomorrow again, because I'm kind of excited about it. I'm really committing to the green. I have an idea. <laughs> I know who to raid. Listen to this, listen to this. Pale Green M. <laughs> she plays a lot of The Sims. I think they're CC shopping right now. Um, <laughs> And we're doing our green build, so I think this is the perfect opportunity. Um, I like the idea of a CC shopping stream. That's kind of fun. So we can go over there and say hi um, and, and watch some CC shopping, yeah? Um, very fitting, very fitting to, to raid someone named Green on the day that we're doing the green build. Uh, but have a great rest of your night. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, and... Uh, that's all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye. Oops, where's my stream button? Oh, no. I lost it. Hopefully it doesn't break like yesterday, too.